uh, do you think you would ever consider coming back to Game Grumps in the future? Unfortunately, I don't think. No, I won't be returning to Game Grumps. Sorry. <laughs> That's a final. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast, a podcast about a bunch of people on the internet who do shit there talking about garbage. I'm the best guy ever, and today we're joined by Tom Oliver. Hello. I forget what, what? this episode is. Are you about, trying so to start some shit? Are you, tr- are, you try- are you trying to start some shit with me, Tom? Hey, why don't uh, you step up to absolutely. bat instead of pussyfooting around and let me I, fucking knock your head right off your I, shoulders I, I, with I, one I, fell swoop? All you pussies I'm ever being, do I'm is being, make response videos and I'm, hide behind I'm, proxies. I'm being harassed. I'm open. being harassed online, guys. <laughs> Go fund me slash Tom. <laughs> Give me money. I'm going to join Twitter's <laughs> anti bullying oh, council. Yes. You'll all yes. pay for this. I've got 4,700 followers on Twitter and each and every one of them has a sniper rifle trained on your location. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, I've this isn't about dr- ethics and podcast journalism. This is about harassment yes. of me. Yes. <laughs> I, I've got some drama for you. A dramas into your fucking house and breaks all your legs. All, every <laughs> single one of them. These are yes. all death threats. I'm sending this all to the cyber police. The next, the next draw <laughs> cast is going to be more like a PCP drama cast. Uh-huh. Right? We're all going to be sad, uh, mad. Dead. <laughs> yeah, uh, 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 leave Britney alone. Uh, <laughs> hello, thank you everyone for joining us on this very special episode of the Procrasters Podcast, all about drama. All about drama in its many forms. The, the thing we like the most in the entire world, as is evident. That's correct. That's correct. And uh, before we get into it, let's let's read that old Urban Dictionary definition here. Uh, drama, definition number two, making a big deal out of something unnecessarily. Uh, that bitch, I'm gonna kick her ass. Dag, Jenny, all she did was look at you. Why you gotta be so drama? Wow. There you go. Nice. There's Thanks, your, Urban your, Dictionary. Your, your, <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. You, said it, you said it all. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 you know, it's becoming more and more evident that uh, the Urban Dictionary is actually just the Ebonics Dictionary for, you know, when well, you want to go into the... Yeah. When, when you want to learn about the urban demographic and, you know, go in, yeah. quote, the hood. We're going to start some Indeed. drama already right off the bat because we only introduced me <laughs> and Nate and no one else got introduced. Yeah. We just, we just oh, went I right into yeah, what the, the fucking fuck? podcast. You trying to it's throw the, me under the oh, bus, I Nate? Forgot. You trying it's to throw the, your own brother under the bus? I get it. The, it's the, up to play. <laughs> it's the upper class and the lower class just, divided by I being finally, introduced I finally, finally joined the bourgeois where I belong. God, it's feels time for a fucking proletariat revolt, in my opinion. Just shit-talking podcast hosts for half an hour. Oh, God, what have I done? <laughs> it's time. It's so time to fuck. It's time indeed. to. It's time to seize the means of production. We're locking you all out of the Patreon. We're taking. So here's, a, no. here's a here's a cheapo uh, triple introduction. We've got Digi Bro, Munchy Wears Tiny Hats, and Ben Saint. Say words. It's no. me, Munchy Wears Tiny Hats. I've never been in drama. I've never been in drama before. I've it's, never been in pajamas before. It's me, Digi Bro. I've been in all the drama before. <laughs> yes. Oh no. He's very popular. He's very well versed. <laughs> I'm Ben I, Saint, and everyone likes me. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, team. So, so drama. Uh, it's not even real. It's not even something that happens in the real world. It's a, it's some what? fantasy that happens online that isn't true and is fake. <laughs> I, so, what do you have to say to that shit right there? I, no. on, internet drama. <laughs> sucks but real life drama uh-huh. is great because okay yeah like the fucking civil war yeah that's yeah good like, drama, like, like you know? exactly that's, good. That, that's exactly what i unironically mean whenever there's like <laughs> internet drama it's like oh pewdiepie said nigger like oh god fucking cry me a river but whatever uh-huh. like some like one of my friends does <laughs> munchie something... says that to me every second every day. <laughs> yeah. over it at this point and i beg <laughs> for more yeah. when i sleep <laughs> i'm like <sighs> But but whenever there's like something that happens in real life, I'm like, yes, I can finally talk shit about this person. No one will get mad at me yes. when I do. I feel like that's that that's a big oh my thing. God. That's a big excuse. That is such a great point, Munchie. Yeah. That yeah. is what that is what uh I in some ways I love drama for exactly that reason, yeah. which is that right, I, right. there are some people that basically I hate that they're in my life, but there's no excuse to get rid of them yet. Yeah. You know, yes. it's yeah. like yep. you, you're constantly harboring this like, ah, oh, fucking that guy. Like you're always come kind of like you always pull your friends aside. Like if you notice that that dude's fucking like a piece of shit yeah. and they're like, yeah. uh, I don't know, I kind of noticed. And you're like, I feel like I've really like, didn't you notice he did that? And they're like, 
well, I guess. And you're like, fuck, yeah. man. And you're just I know waiting. What, I know what you're you mean. You're just waiting I know for the mean, day man. that they, they fucking step over the line. And then it's just mm-hmm. like, all right, I knew it. You know, it's like, mm-hmm. I knew it. I knew this was a problem. Now let's get it all out. Let's get this it all out in the re- air. This is yeah. hyper-realistic. This is too yeah. realistic. This, <laughs> this, this has too I, many guys, graphics. I love Monkey Jones. I love Monkey <laughs> Jones. God, God I'm just, damn I'm just, it! I'm just popping that Great. bubble right now. Uh, there it is. Even, there it is. That's that was not even close yeah. to what I was it's, thinking. It's exactly. That's not, I that's not, not, that's not who, that's not well, who that's, I was that's thinking that's about. That's thing, Nate. Not who I, I was you, thinking about at all. You guys, you guys uh, don't even know how much fucking drama I have. I got drama that's with true. everybody. Offline, online. A lot of irons of fire over there. We get dragged into your drama all the goddamn time. Yes. Sometimes. Sometimes. Well, more more lately than yeah. we, than in the past. Yeah. Well, yes. <laughs> that, that is Shit true. Storm by true. association. It's mm-hmm. fantastic. But but okay, we're not. I mean, we can talk about specific yeah. examples, but really, we're here to talk about the meta concept of drama right. and its yeah. place in the that's, world. That's the important exactly. part. Yeah. Indeed. Really. Indeed. And and yeah. Uh, let. Mm-hmm. It, it's mm-hmm. it's like the like drama when it doesn't affect me or the people I know specifically. Uh, doesn't I don't really concern myself with, and you know, whenever I see you know really like epic and funny uh, tweets with you know uh, Hollywood actors saying cool things in TV shows with like you know, impact text over them, reacting mm-hmm. to like you know some pedophile coming out as a pedophile, pretty good. Uh, <laughs> like doesn't really matter to me. I don't really care about that. But when it when it's the, like real people in your real life, and you get to finally just air out all of your grievances, you get to have the airing oh, of grievances. Boy. Then yeah. I truly mm-hmm. enjoy it greatly. Let me tell sure. you a story. I'm with you. Let mm-hmm. me tell you about the story about a guy. Um, I've I've codenamed him D on the internet usually when I bring mm-hmm. him up. Mm-hmm. But I also say his real name, Derek, all the time, so I don't know why I bother. <laughs> all right, but, uh, there he is. This dude, this dude was a, a member of my group of friends for a very long time, like six years. And he mm-hmm. was a guy who we knew from Japanese class, and he was just kind of – he just kind Where of – all the uh, intellectuals gathered. Yeah, yeah right. exactly. <laughs> Uh, most of my friends I met through Japanese class. But he, he would come over to my house, and he was always kind of a shitty house guest. He'd complain about my music. He'd be very demanding. about like, he, he would want like you to almost like you know acquiesce to what he wanted while he was in my house. But he also uh-huh. regarded my house as like a paradise on earth because he hated being at home, and we were mm-hmm. so loose and freeform that he loved hanging out. But, like, he wasn't the best guy to have around, you know? Sure. So, like, he super wants to be everybody's friend, but everyone's kind of like, eh, like, kind of tepid about having him around, you know? But he's, he's into some good stuff. You know, he likes some some good animes, some good music here and there. He likes drinking. So I hung out with mm-hmm. him, you know, a pretty decent amount. But, like, as time went on, he would just do so much annoying shit. And gradually, it got to a point where everyone else in my group of friends would just hang out and shit talk Derek. Like, yeah. that was our main pastime, because it had gotten <laughs> so bad, but he'd never done any one thing that was like, let's never talk to him again. Like, it's hard to cut somebody yep. out of yep. your yeah, life entirely, yeah. you know? It's hard to just be like, you know, you ha- you don't have enough redeeming quality, and, like, especially when they want to be your friend, <laughs> when, like, they want yeah, to be your Like, he totally wanted to be around... And but like people would constantly have fucking po- even my parents would shit talk him because yeah. he got he pissed them <laughs> off so many times he would say like like weird shit on Facebook and piss off my mom and we got to a point where my mom was like if he does one more <laughs> thing I'm kicking him out right. And we were all, Mm -hmm. like, waiting. Like, everyone's like, oh, man, I hope he fucks up one more time so my mom can kick him out. But he wasn't doing anything. And then finally, on Christmas Day, he says says something off color He fucking had the the, the audacity to be Jewish on Christmas. That was the last (laughs) fucking straw. My my brother Victor had been uh, been talking to a, a younger cousin of ours for a while. He was kind of, like, mentoring her. And Derek says... Derek says to Victor that Victor's <laughs> other good friend had said something about Victor, like, wanting to fuck this cousin, essentially. Mm-hmm. How old was this cousin? How like, old was this under, girl? Young. She was, like, 14. Okay, okay. So sure. uh, Victor was, like, probably 18 and 19 at the time. Sounds ripe. Sounds nice yeah. and ripe. Okay, so, go on. <laughs> don't. Don't. <laughs> uh, so, so Derek says that another friend has said this about Victor. Victor, mm-hmm, whether mm-hmm. The, Victor doesn't care whether that's true or not, the fact that Derek has brought that up at, at all, like called that into question at all, has right, infuriated right. him massively. So he goes, tears into him. He's like, "Fuck you! I don't want to see you again for a, like." He was like, "I don't want to see your face for the next six months," you know, mm-hmm, and like mm-hmm. basically kicked him out. And everybody was just like, 
Ah, uh, and it literally <laughs> ended drama in my circle of friends. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. it was all gone. Yeah. Like all of the drama, everything anybody was complaining about, all of it was the source by this one dude. And as soon as mm-hmm. he was gone, it was like, oh, like we can live again. And this is why drama you, can be beautiful because it can have you, results. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to be the person that the drama centers around. You know, mm-hmm. no, like you, that's not. not a good look. Like some some people some people seem to like kind of like drama and get off on it and find like pleasure in starting shit. But like to me, didn't, didn't we all that's just like, admit to that? Tacitly. Well, sure, yeah, and yeah, more or less. It's not well, that I enjoy starting shit. It's that I enjoy no, not ending you. shit. I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm talking about Derek. Well, actually, no, I'm not even talking about anyone. I'm just talking about. You know, there are some people who stir up drama mm-hmm. because it's fi- it scratches some itch that they need. Yeah. It like gives meaning mm-hmm. to their life in some way. It gives them gives them something I mean, to do when they're bored. Yeah. And, I, I'm a big one. Oh, yeah, go ahead, finish. but 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 you, you know, it's. It's draining. It's draining on the people around you. Mm-hmm. And if you are a person like mm-hmm. that, like other people are gonna, if they know what's good for them, they're gonna, they're gonna cut you out because you're a source of problems. And like, mm-hmm. to me, yep. I, th- yep. I think that even if, even if shit's going on, it's better if you can help it. Don't fucking turn it into drama and make it everyone else's problem. That is a bad mm-hmm. look, and I do not appreciate it. Yeah. The thing that interests me about drama is drama is like a tool that like. I don't know, like like the the worthless people of society can excuse me, fuck can wield against like people who actually matter. So like uh, the way that people can like start gossip about like 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 on like it's kind of like Jesse's situation recently, you know, like people just oh talking boy. shit about Jesse forever, mm-hmm. oh and uh, it just uh, it's just an example of this idea Gulp. about how people can can talk about stuff like that and and just make it into a big deal whether or not it was in the first place and mm-hmm. i it's it's this yeah. kind of lever I, of power better, that better people example have. the pewdiepie yeah. uh nazi thing where yeah. it was right. just right it's just a bunch of old media fuck boys trying to fuck over the famous guy exactly like they just exactly. want they're like oh that guy's got 14 billion subs let's take him fucking down a peg <laughs> more you than know? the population of the earth yeah <laughs> I, actually it's interesting you bring that up there's like this really interesting video series that this guy did about that whole controversy and uh-huh. saying how like all like the two uh, I think it was like NBC and the Wall Street Journal or something were the two things that initially reported on this, and they're both yeah. owned by uh, Rupert Murdoch. So they were, he was saying like dig, doing this mm-hmm. deep dive, like actually it had nothing to do with PewDiePie. It was all an elaborate plan by old media to make YouTube look like shit, so all the advertisers yeah. would pull out to make them relevant yeah. again. Hey, mm-hmm. it was like he exactly. did like an hour long expose. It was super fucking interesting. Mm-hmm. And it worked. Yeah, it, it worked, worked fantastically. Yeah. So like, it totally worked. Oh Ben, I have a question for you, and this isn't an accusation. It's just that something legitimately, I'm legitimately <laughs> interested oh, in what no. you just Uh-oh. said. How 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 do you? I, and I'm not like how would you explain <laughs> away the fact that you you take that stance on drama, and yeah. then the whole rowdy fuckers, cop killers, like <laughs> well, oh, okay, okay. Part, we need okay. to bring in Phantom well, Horde to consult yeah, on this issue. Yeah, yeah. Know? Let me let me just go yeah. s- summon. Yeah, let me I'm just go summon him. him. Strawberry, I'm, I'm sleeping. Oh, I'm oh, I'm, but I'm here now. Let me let me let me just pick up. Let me just pick up my like. Like my magic, my magic fairy wand, and do a little like like magical girl transformation okay. into Phantom Horn, like I it's, always do. It's the little do. toilet paper roll. After you're yeah. taking a shit, your toilet paper well, roll. No, it's like over a, it's like magic. a scepter. It's like a scepter right, with okay. like a glowing like jewel on the. Anyway, the, yeah, okay, I'm Phantom right. Horn. There, 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 there's like a box next to my desk that I just have to like like poke the inside pink lizard with a cane and like fucking like drub his head and like beat Dude, the shit out of him to wake him I, up. It's, it's, like, it's like those old. It's I like figured, those old Power Rangers transform, like in, right. the, in the first season I, of Transformers, when they like wake up the dinosaurs and they yeah. lumber out of their ancient I'd assume, slumber. I'd assume yeah, the transformation for Ben would work. He'd run into a public restroom, go into a stall, <laughs> get a roll of Rub toilet it the paper, trash stick for a it roll. on his head, <laughs> and that would start the transformation. Hold on, right. yeah, yeah it, and then good. it just. What, ben, for what? canonical clarity's sake, are you yeah. implying that Phantom Horn only exists when you are performing Phantom Horn, like when you have become him? <laughs> Canonically, no, no. Canonically, he lives in Ponyville. Okay. This, this is yeah. this, 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 this is canon. this flight of fancy is merely that. All okay. my other flights of fancy. So your are pony's canon. not a retarded meta pony thing like mine was. It's uh, no, yours no, is no. a solidly no, no. existent. That is what makes Keg and Phantom and the greatest Fa- OCs and of all time. Are only meta in that they canonically <laughs> live in Ponyville, but also post to YouTube and yeah. review I, My Little Pony and episodes. review. Yeah, yeah. They watch the yeah, show in yeah. world and Stra- like yeah. 
Strawberry Milk lives like in my house and he too? doesn't pay rent, even though he's dragon royalty. <laughs> and he's just crashing out of my house and making raps day in, day out. And he won't fucking okay. pay rent, as no matter much how much I want, want to. want to hear about this. Yeah, yeah sorry. This is a terrible <laughs> fucking off talk. Um, um, okay, well, all right. The thing about that. Uh, the thing about the rowdy, uh, Munchie, I don't know if you agree with this, but I'm just mm. going to speak for myself for a minute. Of course. I don't feel like the Rowdy Fuckers Cop Killers was stirring up real drama. I Because don't, let's yeah. just be fucking frank, nobody really gives a shit what mm-hmm. FNGR or what Misanthropony the, uh... or, or anyone else yeah, yeah, think. Yeah, give us it a was, primer. Give us like, a primer. I don't, think, I don't think everybody who listens to this is going to know what the fuck the Rowdy oh, Fuckers Cop oh, Killers oh, is. Oh, oh, so. God. How, like, Ma- okay. Yeah, yeah. Ma- like yeah. basically, Rowdy Fuckers Cop Killers is like a, I guess, a Let's Play show that me and Bitten have, but it's so much more than that in every yeah. single conceivable <laughs> way. It's, uh, it's evolved. In uh, in 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 the when we start playing uh, Frog Fractions, the the infamous uh, Homestuck spinoff <laughs> game, uh, mm. we eventually just get so bored and we are using the, like a screen sharing software. So I just start tapping over outside the Flash game and just start googling old Pony reviewers, and we kind yeah. of spiral into just we, shit talking everyone we know from we, that. Game. We, I, I just for like I just three started hours. shit I just started shit talking everyone that I remembered from the yeah. old days and like looking at OCs and being like oh god I hate this and yeah, like yeah. talking about mm-hmm. what was wrong mm-hmm. with the whole thing and it incurred it incurred some backlash from a couple of dudes I, I, from a couple I, I, of dudes. I believe I believe did you refer to it as the most like something along the lines of like the most like haphazardly venomous thing he's ever seen in his entire <laughs> life I have, I have a lot of venom I have a lot yeah. of venom on the it, subject it the a most, lot of piss and vinegar it was the most I don't remember the word I used but it's 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 a word that means like you just didn't think about it like yeah. like that this was gonna come out and be public and people were gonna watch it like no but I, you, I knew no, no, I knew we knew. I liked it we knew and that, <laughs> that's, that's the beauty of it the, the, the way yeah. I felt I was like I'd been I'd been sitting on these feelings for so like I didn't want to come out with this when like leaving the pony thing was fresh I didn't want to be yeah, the kind yeah. of guy who like came out and shit on all like the people I'd previously been associating with but now that this is like years in the past who gives a shit and I'm like I, let me just talk I'd like, like to... these guys suck I'd like to point out that I am literally wearing my brony shirt right now. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> At this very fucking moment. All right. Uh, but, but anyway, but, af- after yeah. that initial <laughs> shit talking, which uh, we we basically went on like the the wiki for all these people and just went on each of their pages and shit talked them for maybe like thirty minutes each or you know less, depending on how irrelevant they are. And we kind of dug into a couple people for like hours, Doctor Wolf, <laughs> uh, which was KP. great. Yeah, which was very it, fun. It, it was all it was, in, fu- it was, it was all good fun. fun and like uh, you know it, it it was pretty great. Anyway, we get attacked by fucking, you know, assassins, a top yeah. grade brony <laughs> assassins named, named Misanthropony and F, uh, for no good reason, coming at yeah. us with fucking, you know, venom and fucking poison, trying to, you know, ruin mm-hmm. our day and rain on our parade. Before, before we go further, we should probably point out that for no good reason is a name, even though Misanthropony basically did just try and come at you for no good reason. Yeah. Right. Good. For no good reason is a person, sort of. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nominally, he's a changeling. He's a changeling. He's a human creature. Uh, And 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 then after that, we recorded. uh, We we basically what we did is uh, we made a response video to Miss Anthony and FNGR's video. And uh, after that, which was also like five hours long, then we made a like a seven hour long video where we invite (laughs) FNGR on to watch for us to watch our response to his video of his video <laughs> responding <laughs> to us. Yeah. So basically, it's a clusterfuck, and all you need to know is that bronies hate us now, even though yeah. we're the saviors they deserve, and so we're telling what, them everything we need to. So, okay, go well, well, the, re- the reason why I can feel this way about drama and not see any conflict with, with, with what I what we did on, on yeah. uh, Rowdy Fuckers Cop Killers is that this is not a real fight, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, this mm-hmm. is not, like, uh-huh. nobody, at least nobody who's relevant to us is... Mm-hmm. Like nobody well, who's know. on board with the PCP in any way is going to side with them on the, the and, like, like and this is this is this is this is I think, mean. I think like, their opinions do not mean anything. And it's just funny. Pony, in the comments of this video, I think would argue otherwise. Yeah. Well, <laughs> which they know he will do. I don't even have any particular ill will towards Miss yeah, yeah. Pony, even it's though I right, think that right. his arguments were pretty dumb. Mm-hmm. Um but but like it's the point is it's not a real fight. Like it's just funny and it's just like a chance to uh-huh. like have like a, a good time just shitting on some people. I, you know, I, I, that I, I feel like got the impression. I even if misanthropony, whatever. Like that seems resolved. And mm-hmm. FNGR certainly seemed to have an attitude of not sincere like investment in this like fight. Yeah, he seemed to you know. So I, I don't know. Well, you, I, you I, I, I don't trust know. that scoundrel. 
I knew I, I knew <laughs> I was making people mad, but I didn't. Th- I feel I felt like pre we were pretty safe that this was not going to result in any like meaningful schism among like right, the people right. that are important to us. I, and that thing that sure. brings me to one of the things the the things mm-hmm. about drama. Every time I get into drama, people are like, "Why would you do that when you're gonna make some people so mad?" And it's yeah. because there's always gonna be just as many people who are like really glad somebody said it. You know, like, yeah, like, cause yeah. If, if, if there's a problem, then probably a lot of people have that problem, you know? Mm-hmm. And when I call, like, when I did the shit talking anime YouTubers video, which was like a very mm-hmm. infamous drama sparking video I made, 30 minutes of me shit talking a bunch of anime YouTubers, like, mm-hmm. it got. First of all, it, it brought up conversation with all those guys. Like, I ended up talking to all those YouTubers, you know, like, coming to greater understandings. Lots of people were like, yeah, I echo these sentiments. And, uh, you know, every literally everyone I mentioned in the video gained shitloads of subscribers and patrons. Like, <laughs> it was because it just drew attention to people and drew attention to things, you know. Like, anybody I praised, people were like, oh, I got to see why he praised that guy. Anybody insulted, they're like, let me see if I agree with these insults, you know. So, like... In the end, and this is why drama is such a hot commodity on YouTube now, um, which I, to clarify, none of my drama videos have been for popularity's sake. Um, if I wanted that, I would go way harder on it. But, like, uh, mm-hmm. th- there's a good reason it works for that. And mm-hmm. it's because people want to be, it, it's, it warps you into the conversation. Like, more and more people keep involving themselves in the drama to bring attention to themselves. And, and ergo, the drama grows and becomes a bigger and bigger deal, and therefore more and more people want to pile on it. And so it's just, it's just really beneficial for everybody involved. Um, mm-hmm. But, you know, it, it's, it's vapid content. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> the, 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 the thing here with... Bradford's Cop Killers, is that, first of all, the original video is not a directed attack at any one person, but is instead uh, us degrading a certain mindset and community as a whole. Of course, we pick out certain people, but those are only symptoms of the larger problem that we have both faced individually mm-hmm. within our lives. So it's yeah. not directed, and it's not exactly the most, you know, uh, you know, like, trained, you know, calculated video, as he stated many times. It's just, you know us mm-hmm. riffing and i think that kind of plays into the atmosphere well it, you know you gotta play these things case by case it's not yeah. like you know uh, not everything can be judged by the exact same merits and i think red fox cop killers can easily while you know it could obviously be taken as drama video as it was by the people who we shit on a lot of people i don't think would even consider it a drama video per se it is just us talking as we always do i mean you know pcp shits on a lot of people all the time 100 percent in fact yeah. Uh, yeah. So I don't think it's that <laughs> yeah, far right. out, you know, out, well, out of left uh, field. But, like, the you thing know, is, like anyone, anyone who's on the side of the bro analysis community, I think they're like. dumb, yeah. and I don't want, I don't care well, if they're well, mad at me. Well, there, <laughs> yeah. there shouldn't even, there shouldn't need to be a divide, like brony analysis community versus uh, like Ben and Munchie, because like you specifically attack individuals, which is like kind of the whole point of it. Like the individual people are shit. To have that kind of group mentality, like oh, we need to like. Look out for our own? Yeah. What? No, you don't. No, you don't. The, Lightning the, Bliss is an idiot, the, and she makes terrible <laughs> shit. <laughs> the weird group mentality is what we, like, is yeah. what, like, I go, like, almost, or one of the hardest things that I that I hit on. Yeah, yeah. As yeah. not, mm-hmm. as being not a fan of. And, I, yeah. The, exactly. Uh, the mm-hmm. final, but the final chapter closed. We, uh, we, we, we laid all our enemies to waste. Yeah. In the, the final <laughs> episode of the Frog Fraction <laughs> Saga. Rowdy Fuckers, Cop Killers 9, Frog Fractions, Episode 2, Frog Fractions 2, Part 3, Frog Finale. We, 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 RFC. We, we, K nine F F E two F F two P three. Wait, is that out? Is that the latest one? Yeah. That's, that's, the latest, that's the latest. That's the latest. I, just, I just wanted to make the title as long and, and as obnoxious uh, an abbreviation it's, it's as pretty, possible. Please do. We completely yeah. melted and dissolved their avatars, and now we have we have fucking add them to our <laughs> stew, and we have consumed their entire being. We have consumed we their entire a- consciousness, and we, we, now we have now we have gained uh, complete and total control <laughs> over both their kundalini and their merkaba, and now we can, <laughs> we, we can drive them uh, yes. as we see we, fit. We took we took their polygons and added them to. To our character models and yeah. now we're like now we're <laughs> hd yeah well i want to okay. talk about like why i think we can get away with uh with some of this stuff that we do mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. because like i think the pcp being such a strong foundation for all of us kind of allows us to like burn other bridges 
Like, I mean, there's a lot of people, I know content creators who will never say a mean thing about another content creator because they're just yeah. terrified of burning any bridge. They're like, mm-hmm. I want to be able to work with all these guys in the future. And, uh, and like, you know, I'll, there'll be people who I know everyone has a problem with and I bring them up around people and they go, oh yeah, you know, he's a little, uh, you know, he's, he's him. And I'm like, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, you're not going to say anything about it. You know, like, no. I want to be able to work with them in the future. I think with us, like, we we know we've got like, these isn't guys. Isn't that a cop out though? Isn't that a cop out? It totally like, is. Like to say that yeah. you want to work. If you don't like them, of course you don't want to work with them. You don't want to start yeah. any shit. You don't want to be the guy that exactly. has the first stone. Yeah, yep. and, it's true. And, and for it's me, very, it's very like true. I already know I've got the PCP. You know, at the very least, I've got this group of Word. friends and and business associates that I don't have any problems with who I can work with. You know, and and so everybody yeah. else yeah. is like, uh, uh, like, look, I don't need to have a thousand friends. I don't need to have a thousand connections. You know, mm-hmm. I'm willing. Mm-hmm. If insulting mm-hmm. this guy means like his entire fan base hates me from now on, cool. I'll yeah. I'll be over here with this other fan base who also hates that guy. You know, I think <laughs> I think an important <laughs> distinction here to be made is that like in the dis- like in the uh, you know fucking de- definition, drama is about like nothing. Like like the kind of drama that everyone yeah. you know hates and you know dislikes and makes fun of is the kind of drama that is about nothing. When you have like legitimate problems with people, obviously it can still be considered drama, but it's more pointed and you know constructive and important and actually you know worth having around as a species as opposed to just someone disliking someone for you know miscellaneous uh reasons and just bringing up like like just kind of waiting for them to do you know like the pewdiepie thing he didn't do anything wrong he, people just wanted to you know take him down a peg or i guess well, in the uh, conspiracy uh, theory just destroy i mean you YouTube. could you could ar- you could argue that what pewdiepie said is not cool for whatever reason but like i know that's not why they went so it, hard it, about exactly, it exactly exactly that's what i'm trying well, to what say what about what about would you call would you call what like the things happening right now with guys like like Harvey Weinstein or Kevin Spacey that's like, you know, uh, like molestation allegations and whatnot, sexual harassment. Is that drama or is that like something else? That's like a legal issue. You know, I think it's It's like a lawsuit. Well, yeah, but uh I think it's uh both because I think that what those guys have done, yeah, that's obviously a legal issue and like it deserves to be brought like brought to light probably, but right. the motivations for bringing it to light Absolutely. are by the most way, by likely. The way, here's yeah. here's the problem with that whole thing. There's there's two uh-huh. sides to it. There's the legal issues, which is like, right, hey, right. you diddled the dude. That's bad. Probably shouldn't do <laughs> I mean, that. Yes. That's that's not good. We but can then all agree. There's on there's that. also the people like who hop on the bandwagon, like, yeah, it happened to me too. By somebody, somewhere, sometime. Yeah, yeah, Please yeah. pay attention to me. I want to keep this fire burning. And it's like yeah, you're yeah. not sure. If you well, cared about the actual legal issues, you would you would actually constructively solve People... the problem. But you don't. Mm-hmm. You just mm-hmm. want to keep the fire burning because again, like they're an, a very. They started as an observer. They feel empathetic towards the cause, but they don't. Again, they don't want to cast that stone. So they're going like, to they're going to take that half step of like I'm going to mm-hmm. make this a bigger problem, but I'm not going to actually incriminate myself in any way or actively exactly. get yeah. involved. That's like yeah. that's like people and that's people the drama taking part. like like Monkey talked about like taking the Elliot Rogers uh, thing and like like taking taking something else that happened and using it as mm-hmm. like a platform right. for their for their agenda. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good yeah. point. That's good what point. a lot of people are doing with this which whole is, which is sexual drama thing right now. And that's which, drama. when you when it's, you do that. Yeah, when you do it that way, that's Drama. By the way, I'd like to come out real quick and castigate the guy who came forward with the, the allegations against Kevin Spacey. Why the fuck didn't you wait till season six of House of Cards was done, you piece of shit? <laughs> you are literally <laughs> fucking me right now. You're fucking me right now. This is rape. This is fucking rape. Congratulations. <laughs> you are the monster that you claim to fight against. Fuck <laughs> you. Uh, when I heard those, there the allegations I heard were that he, like, flirted with him. Like... Did he even actually well, do anything uh, to him? It doesn't. Okay, I, don't, he, I, 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 mean, I have no you, idea. I have no idea know, what the situation if you, is. If, if you even it look at somebody the wrong way, it's rape now. Okay. 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 Like, let me spell oh God, it. Oh God, no. There's let's, the, the let's first keep one, this light, guys. <laughs> the first allegation against Kevin Spacey was just that, like, he he basically tried to have sex with a 14 year old, not like super aggressively, but somewhat, which is like fucked up and you know pretty weird. Sure. Uh, but and then not, Kevin like, was such a fucking beta. Illegal. He couldn't even get with a 14 year old. Well, he's the overpower, but he fucking couldn't. And and this was over 30 years ago, so like yeah. that one's a little bit shaky. Who knows? Okay, but but like the new ones are like people working on the set with him on yeah. House of Cards. Like since the beginning of the show, are saying like, oh, he's he's like groped guys and made inappropriate comments, yeah. which all sound very nebulous. And I don't like. Let, I let's mean, hear some actual a, court Asterios testimony. Asterios Kokonos said that he's been hearing yeah. rumors about this for like 15 years or something. So I'm 
I'm willing okay. to believe. Uh, as, well, as, uh, someone tweeted. Is... Someone tweeted that like Family Guy made a joke about Kevin Spacey having like sex slaves in his basement, which like I feel like maybe might have like colored the waters for some. Like maybe some people heard that and internalized it, and maybe or are, maybe like, that joke. I mean, maybe that was based reality. on true. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Who, oh god. On, on one of the episodes say? of uh, that we had Asterios on uh, on the insufferable social media argument, he was talking about, or maybe this was on the Dick Show. I don't remember. All my fucking Asterios is bleeding into each other, but he. <laughs> was talking about how in the, the industry diaspora when something like this happens there's no it was on the dick show he was talking about the the uh the heart the weinstein thing and how mm-hmm. like everyone had known this like this was just something that, that one, yeah, yeah, everybody course, knew in yeah. hollywood and he was like th- every time one of these things comes out that is always the case like mm-hmm. everybody mm-hmm. knows they're just nobody's gonna say anything until that person's like number is up you know it's just mm-hmm. Seems it's that way. just waiting for the it's pin like to drop when when someone decides <laughs> that you're next that's when they come for you you know mm-hmm. and yeah. uh there's no real i mean to me uh, it's like it's never surprising cuz it's like you got to be like, you kind of have to be mentally damaged in some way to work in entertainment you know mm. like why the fuck <laughs> else would you be here um none of us is sane uh, i don't think <laughs> yeah, i don't think any Maybe. of us qualifies as sane yeah, I know what you mean. I do my best. I'm do my cultured. Best. I'm a philosopher. <laughs> well, my okay. Stance. Let me. So, okay, this is all interesting stuff. But, but let me. Just, so, all of you guys, to some degree or another, have involved yourself with some some drama ish situation, sure. including yeah. including Tom. Hashtag uh, leaving the fandom. Hashtag right. burning bridges. Oh. You know? See, it's interest. It's interesting that you say that because I was uh-huh. going to bring this up. This is a, a really pony charged episode today. I didn't well, expect. I mean, we all had a lot of pony trauma. <laughs> well, well, it's true. It's, it's true. It's because like that was like my one exception. But like for right. the most part, like I think I'm. The, I think I probably in general I'm like the least drama person here. Question mark. Maybe. Like I. I, I, tend, I have something I t- to say relevant to that. Okay. okay. Oh well, I didn't mean to interrupt, but, no, no, uh, but if, cool. if I have the floor, I just well, want to say that. Well, it's too the, late now. <laughs> <isn't> the, <bad. laughs> the, the, the reason the reason why I felt comfortable making that Dungeons and Dragons attack video responding to right, it, and the right. reason why I jumped on that so quickly is because oh, I that's knew, a great example. Is because okay, I knew sorry, that like I could I knew that I could like make a counter argument to yours and make it into a thing and joke that like oh fuck Tom and I knew that it wouldn't yeah, escalate yeah. into yeah, like that was a that was hilarious. I love conf- that. I, I, f- I figured that you would appreciate it. Yeah, and I, yeah. I, I thought it was fun, and I was, you know, glad I saw an opportunity to be like, yeah, let's let's make a little, let's make a little everybody, thing out of this. Everybody got the joke. That's like anti-drama, almost. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, yeah. it's 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 a faux drama, I guess. And, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I think everybody appreciated it. But the reason... I, yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, finish your point. If you're I was just going to say it was it was great, and uh, we should... The, I, I, I hope more of that. I, I, we should do more of that here on the PCP. Like, I, I, I should a good do idea. Well, that's, that's something yeah. I was going to bring up. Is that but but I only think... when there's an issue that, like, I actually... Oh, Wait, we should make a Patreon goal for the procrastinators. We will start PCP inter PCP <laughs> drama with each oh, other. Oh, great, we yeah. will create an issue for you to love and Wait. latch onto a side. What were you saying? We'll Tom? just ma- manufacture it. Well, I was I was gonna say like I was saying I tend to try and avoid drama for the yeah. most part, um, and like when people like latch onto stuff, I tend to not jump into it because even now, like mm-hmm. I still. I, I don't know. Like, I just kind of like if even if there's something I want to say, I don't. And I think that's a problem. I think that makes my internet personality yeah, kind of. too boring. I think I need to start shitting on people. I think that would I, that would do good things for my career. I feel I like I have the same fear that I'm not contentious enough. I, I just I just feel like I'm not that interesting. I feel like because I don't <laughs> jump into conflicts head on, that it's actually actively damaging my prospects better, going forward. Better to what, what's the saying? Better to be hated than not to be discussed at all, or something yeah. like that. You know, I right. used it feels to. Like, Relevant online. I used mm-hmm. to say and and think a lot that like what I what I would really enjoy is if the PCP did get into some drama, not like inter mm-hmm. PCP drama, but like if maybe some other podcast or other show or other group of creators would we maybe to pick like a fight with somebody. Yeah, with maybe like a similar clout to our own, like if maybe they're like some ge- some genuine and some, <laughs> some genuine. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? Our, our retrieval. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll puppet maybe... the entire thing so they have no real threat against us. But we can, <laughs> but we can still attack them mercilessly. I don't know. It's, it's, it's I, controlled I, I, drama. <laughs> I wouldn't mind if we had like some genuine non-manufactured beef with some other group of like people that maybe had like similar or like slightly greater clout to us, and it would be like, and it would be like a fair fight, and like we would we would trade blows, and people would take sides, and like you know people like that kind of thing, and it could be fun. Like that's the kind of thing. Like remember back in the Pony days. Sorry to bring it back to Pony, but remember back in the Pony Mm -hmm. days when we all saw it as like we're all in Bakuman and we're all the fucking we're all like competing with each other, right? 
It's like yeah. a hot-blooded rivalry. Yep. I don't know. I, yeah. I, well, I, I miss that I mean, a little bit. The, the, the that smart sense, business... That sense that, like, of needing to best others. Sure. It, drive, the, it drives creation and, and, and enthusiasm. That's true. But the, the smart business decision for us to be would be to manufacture drama with a much larger podcast. Like That's the fucking true. Sleepy Cast. That's like, true. If we could somehow make drama happen with them, like, that would be the best way that to, like, a... suddenly boost our relevancy if we that could do kinda that was kind of something. Uh, Dick Masterson used to constantly, mm-hmm. like, shit talk Mark Marin on Biggest Problem and The Dick Show, like, trying to make mm-hmm. that happen. Like, just <laughs> yeah, for right? no reason, just bringing up Mark Marin and being like, yeah, fuck that guy. Like... Just hoping who, that who it was that guy again. Mark Maron's like the biggest podcaster in the world. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Does, he's the one who interviewed Obama that time. Well, then his, why haven't I heard of him? Yeah, if he's so yeah. great. He had a <laughs> fucking show on Netflix, Maron. I never uh, heard of Netflix. Yeah. There you go. I don't know <laughs> when's the PCP Netflix show going to come? Th- out? Thanks for spoiling biggest <laughs> and, and, and problem. And when's there going to be male on male <laughs> grope yeah, on yeah, that just one, huh, Kevin? This week. <laughs> it's not much of a spoiler because they never managed to get Mark Barry to fight. God them, but... damn it! You spoiled <laughs> well, that here, part for me too. Here, here, guys. Okay, here, the reason I, I, I brought up this the drama, Tom's drama. I'm, I'm just interested to hear everyone's individual story. But the reason I bring it up is because I want to point out how I am literally perfect. I am an evolved being. I am superior to all of you because I have never, ever been involved in drama of any kind. You're starting some drama right now. I'm going to fucking punch you in the face. (laughs) Well, Nate, I I think the thing about with you not having drama, you very much Uh have tried to be like a – in, like, in spite of the fact that you're in the PCP, your YouTube yeah. presence has always been very independent. And, like, mm. you do yeah. not associate as part of a community. You do not really, like so, – like, when, when other people ask you about YouTubers, it's always either, like, I watch them or I don't. It's never, like, That's here's true. what I think they do to my content or, like, what they do to the atmosphere of YouTube. Like, you don't really care about that kind of shit. You're just, like, mm-hmm. I'm over mm-hmm. here in my own world doing my videos, you know, which is a, a healthy way so to be and how I most like YouTubers probably are. Nate, uh, Nate know, can mm-hmm. get away with that because he has such a natural charisma t- just yeah. by default, where I don't. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I need something to make me interesting because right <laughs> yeah, now I'm just yeah. a boring piece of shit. I need to start shit with somebody. I, I also think, Nate, that you would have – more drama if it weren't for the fact that you you tend to play things off in a very playful like you shit talk people it just never yeah, starts anything time. like you will blatantly like just <laughs> shit on somebody but because you do it with such a like uh like a smiley laughy gravitas to it like nobody really <laughs> uh-huh. cares like nobody takes it personally they're just like oh yeah well whatever you know like when i do it it's like mm-hmm. i get drunk mm-hmm. and like tear someone's whole life apart and like mm-hmm. yeah yeah you know, it's a different atmosphere yeah. <laughs> behind those sorts of things you know you can uh, tell there's anger when I start drama. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, it's true. it's true. I have, I, I, I don't, I, t- I try not to shit talk people, and I think it's because that if I did, it would come off as very like serious and grave, and like, yeah. mm-hmm. I don't know, mm-hmm. I can't, I, I, can't, I don't I shit can't... talk anyone. Says Ben Saint with 15 hours of rowdy fucking cop killers. <laughs> well, they don't yeah. count. <laughs> pony, pony, pony well, people Tom. Don't count. I Tom, think what the fuck is with you and all the Bernie fan? Like, oh, Ben is so mean. Ben, ben oh, did all is. of yeah, this. No, I was there too. I'm a hashtag, mean. I'm a bully hashtag, too. I'm, 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 hashtag, I'm only, hashtag, I'm hashtag only, what about okay, Munchie? Okay. Hashtag, what I'm about only Munchie? responding because Ben was talking. Munchie, you are just as much of a dick. You <laughs> Thank so well, you. Much, Thank well, you. Well, Finally. Munchie. Munchie in many ways has the same thing as Nate, where Munchie's a big memer. So, yeah, like, yeah, people aren't yeah. – like, both of you guys are constantly spouting memes. So, like, when you guys <laughs> shit on somebody, it's, like, seen uh, uh, as more g- of a meme. You yes. know? Uh, <laughs> yeah. if, if Ben, who's – Ben Ben is more of like a I don't know he Ben is a very like funny lighthearted guy but he's got a little bit more of like a heady persona where like if he insults sure. somebody it's like well fuck if if Ben thinks it it must be serious you know <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. like, I think Ben just has like that he kind of comes off as a judgmental person in general oh, sometimes Ben is a very <laughs> judgmental so, person so, Jesus. so when, when he wrong. does it you you I, know it's like I, I I know this Ben Saint character is this, I, this, I, this, I this isn't I for can't. chuckles. This is for you, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know what it is. I, I can be really judgmental sometimes, and I don't really like that about myself. So I think that mm. I like avoid mo- not with the pony stuff, but with most things, I try <laughs> to avoid. I try to avoid coming out and like making statements like against people because I know yeah, yeah. that like I don't. I don't want to let that out into the public sphere because I don't like it. You know? I'd also like to. I'd and I know that no suck- one's gonna appreciate it. Wait, hold on, Ben. Correct me if I'm wrong yeah. here, but I feel like yeah. you and I and Nate are different are different in this way. I think mm. Nate when he doesn't like somebody doesn't think about him. Like he like when when somebody brings up a name 
that like Nate's like, oh, that guy sucks. You know, like it's because Nate like watched mm-hmm. one of his videos, thought he sucked in that moment, and then forgot, and then he he hasn't stewed on it. With you and me, Ben, we stew mm-hmm. on the people we don't like. Yeah, I, we, like, some, I, 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 have I been definitely known. do that to an extremely large extent. We sit around. I, have, I, have I know Ben have sat around and like. Like, uh, we'll sit around and just shit on people all day. Yeah, like, yeah. if there's no. someone we're both no, yeah. doing on, you know, <laughs> yeah. it, it becomes a little bit of a circus. Of... You know, I tr- like, I, I try, I try to, like, keep that down and not stew, but, like, yeah. when it comes up, I can't help myself. Yeah. Same. It's you know, like, I, I'm I naturally, that... I'm naturally inclined to stew and to, and to, and to be like, yeah, fucking, here's what I think about this shit, and it makes me this, mad. This does kind of, I mean, it, it sort of expla- is, is, is explained by our sort of different approaches to life, I guess, because I really am, and here comes your dose of hashtag weird utilitarianism. All right. Well, I, thought, I expected it's, that to be your whole place in this it, 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 that, that's, really where been, that's where I've been trying to steer this yeah. lumbering massive yeah. ship this whole time, yeah. and, and we're moving in that direction now. <laughs> it's like, I, I'm always, like, I'm totally pragmatic about this. Like, what good is done by me dwelling on People I don't care. Like just yesterday, I was telling you guys about a YouTuber. I, I d- have decided now I do not care about anymore, and I am not going to think about them anymore. And it's been great, and I have not. They they broke the bridge, and I'm done with them. Yeah, uh, I, I like I do. I, I, I'm not going to say. I, I don't hate the person at all, but how I, far I, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. A while. I don't and know. like I've tried Here, to do that. It. I'll type it. I've tried to do that with like I don't know with like uh, I don't know people like people with political opinions or social ah. opinions like like the whole like the whole like Sargon and and everyone like mm-hmm, him mm-hmm. that like makes me so fucking mad to think about like I just I just decided like okay mm-hmm. all all I want to do is destroy these people <laughs> and make them not exist but I can't yeah, right. so the best but what's, thing to and do what's you, right, all I can do all right I can now. do is not watch their content and not think about them that's the exactly. only that's the mm-hmm. only yeah. thing at my disposal so I, I yes when when I, possible I, that I is my weapon of choice. I wish I had mm-hmm. the mindset that you have, Nate, because for mm-hmm. me, uh, people can become like a meme in my mind. Oh, where like, uh-huh, oh, I'm, uh-huh. I'm, I'm completely on your Munchie, side. Munchy, me and you, are, yeah. I know you're like this because yeah, we yeah. will do this thing <laughs> yeah, where, yeah. where the more we bitch about somebody or the more we think about them, the funnier it gets. Oh, oh my god, it's, exactly. It's like a running. Exactly. It's, it's kind of like with Sword Art Online, how like that show, uh-huh. just watching it's a bad show, but the mm-hmm. more me and Victor made fun of it and talked about it, the funnier it got to me. Yeah. And so like yeah. it got to sure. a point where now I've got like uh, fucking you know posters and toys of Sword Art Online because I just want to make fun of it and like it's it brings me. Joy joy to see it mm-hmm. and like completely i get that way and uh <laughs> i i i don't want to start any drama by saying this but uh-oh, uh-oh. it's exactly what it, mother's it, it, basement is for me in my life yeah. it's oh, someone who i've no. made fun of <laughs> and talk shit about so much and it keeps right. getting funnier and especially because like people for for some reason this is not provocated by me i don't know how this happened other than that we're we're sort of around the same sub count the same like kind of around yep, popularity yep. as youtubers but when people decide they don't like him they tell me like people I, I like very frequently get messages about people being like, Oh, I'm real sick of Mother's Basement. I'm glad <laughs> you're still doing uh this kind of videos you're doing. Like it happens all the time to an extent that's like frightening. And I wanna be like like, you know, I gotta talk to these people and be like yeah, I see that. Like, I see why, you know? And, and uh, so, like, sure. somehow, I, when I created my Discord, like, the first thing that happened was, like, it became a huge meme to shit on Jeff. And I was like, wait, hold on. This is starting to get out of hand. Like, let's skip I, this. And then, well, and then trolls started coming in who, like, <laughs> recognized this and tried to start a war between our Discords, which thankfully didn't work because they were uh, fucking course, retarded. But, like... You know, and I, I'll still, I'll still work with Jeff on some things. You know, I don't hate the guy, but like, mm-hmm. it became so funny to make fun of yeah. him that now I he's just a big it's like, meme. I, wh- when I you start taken... drama with someone, and like, you, and you focus on them so much, like, 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 initially, there's no, there's no like funny parts there. At least most of the time, it's just like, yeah, man, yeah. I fucking hate this guy. But the more you dwell on him and like talk to other people with it, especially, you sort of get this like oh character in your brain of like, like you pick out all the worst parts of it, and then you just create this horrible monstrosity of all the worst possible aspects yeah. of that person that, and you just I, watch them I, I prance around say, in your brain. I won't and, and, say and, and, who yeah. 
I won't say who in this call I did that with with Jeff that turned him into a meme in my mind, but one of you uh, is yes. partially responsible for that. <laughs> that that yeah. that isn't ooh, Jeff is ooh. an example of where I have taken the opposite of pro- approach because thinking about Jeff feels feels bad to me. Thinking about <laughs> thinking about no. someone like Jeff, thinking about someone Uh-oh. like Jeff turning out <laughs> churning out content that is like designed for SEO optimization and stuff, yeah, like okay. churning it out okay. mechanically sure. and like the- get like wheeling and dealing and like getting into industry connections due to this fucking mm. this whatever mm. it is Play the and, and people whatever. but more yeah. so than that more so than him doing it, the thought of people buying into it this goes the same for like someone like dr wolf on like a larger scale the idea of someone doing that like and hero. people buying into mm-hmm. it upsets me and makes me mad mm-hmm. and so like while it is kind of funny sometimes ultimately the laughter dies and i just sit there <laughs> yeah. stewing yeah. <laughs> in my, in, in my <laughs> impotent <laughs> impotent rage no, i feel yeah. the same and, way and the best thing to do is just stop thinking about it that's the best thing i can do correct as funny as it is to make fun of Jeff, I do eventually enter that state where I'm like, "Well, <laughs> I can I can laugh at this all I want, but that motherfucker's laughing to the bank. You know, yeah. that guy's see, making yeah. it's true. It's true. I that think guy's this, making I way think... more money than me. Ulti- at the end of the day, yeah. And yeah. and no matter how many of his fans leave him to come bitch to me about him, he'll always have more fans coming in. It's just he's got about what kind of what do you want your life to be like? You know, yeah. I, I, whatever. Jeff can do whatever he wants. Uh, I guess yeah. I should focus more on the drama itself. Uh, yeah. yeah uh, I, I don't know. I, Tom, Tom, you were I, saying I, something. I, 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 I just take everything to like the worst degree possible with this because I have the same issue uh-huh. where I, I don't. I, the only people that I that bother me are people who are shittier than me and make more money or have more respect because yeah. fuck shittier that. Or creators people that are a different race right. That's, how, That's I a feel, big issue that's how I too. feel about every thing. single I, I one like, of you. <laughs> there's like, right. there's right. like, there's like the Nate method where there's like one stage of just like fuck it, I don't care anymore. There's and by there's... the way, I want to point out that that stage this is this is not like a lighthearted thing. This is a cold, calculated. This is the I, optimal I expect, way to destroy I these people. Nothing That's less my from op- you, Nate. Of course yes, it was. Good. Um, I come off lighthearted, but I want to destroy people. I have that <laughs> seething desire. Yeah. Okay, go on. Th- go then, on. then there's 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 the uh, <laughs> just kidding. The ben- I'm fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, ben- send me messages. The ben- <laughs> There's the Ben and Digi approach where you try not to care, but you can't, and then it gets funny, and then it becomes bad. For me, it's like I I try not to care, then I get mm-hmm. mad, and then I'm just like, well, the problem is me. I should be doing oh, better, yeah. and then I just get mad at myself, uh, yes. and that's what I stew. Oh, in. right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Because that's like, tough. That's There's tough. An element I have that the skills. The... There's no reason why this shouldn't be working, yeah. and then and then I just mm-hmm. hate myself, mm-hmm. and that's the worst. I have an element of that with the Jeff thing, where where sometimes I'm like, but why am I not doing what he's doing? Like, like. That man's gonna. That man is gonna surpass me, and and for most people, they mm-hmm. won't be able to tell the difference. Like 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 I can sit here and say like, oh, I make yeah, real yeah. content. He doesn't. No, not not so much so that like it's a huge yeah, that, difference. That, that only know? that only right, matters right. to you, right? Yeah. And like me, maybe to me like and my your fans. core fans. Yeah. yeah, but like to the average to the public Joe, to the public at large, the there's, numbers there's no tell the whole like, story. Uh, it's yep. like that fucking Goodwill Hunting thing about how Will is like the super genius, but he's so good at math and shit. The only people who even recognize he's that good are like fellow genius yeah. math people who just aren't That's quite the, on his uh... level. And I'm not trying to suck your dick here. You're fucking pathetic. You're a piece of shit. I hate you. <laughs> uh, but I, I am the one I'm talking about in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> he smiles. Terry, oh, that's, that's, the, uh, that's the genius. Yeah. The uh, what's it called? Like the genius paradox or some shit like that. Where it's like, yeah, basically, yeah. you can understand people who are like. Like either like thirty points below or thirty points above you in IQ, and anything beyond right, that, right. like if it's less than or if it's more than thirty points less, then they just seem like a fucking retard. And if it's mm-hmm, more than thirty mm-hmm. points more, they seem like a fucking god, and you can't understand what's coming out of their mouth. Like, so, like, like that episode yeah. of of a uh, 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 regular of, show right, right where from they get cop killers. Where the argument can't can't and Ben, us. it's just yeah, yeah. too big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're we're seven thousand IQ yeah. points above the Bronalysis community, and they thought we were gibbering. Retard. They, yes. they say that like they say that like the best place if you want to be like a businessman, the best place to be is in like the one hundred to one hundred ten range of IQ. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. you can yeah. you can you can sell stuff to idiots, you can sell stuff to normies, you can sell stuff to people who are kinda smart, and you don't gotta worry about the extremes. I I, I don't think know. I think everybody in the PCP sits around anywhere from like one twenty five to one forty five. 
you know? Like, we're all in this upper level. And, like, so when we get down, when we get down to the people who are, like, IQ 80, like, with the misanthropony, um, we, oh, we, oh, 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 damn. It's oh, like, you just, Jesus. you can't, um, you can't. Starting answer. drama again, Do you, right do here? you think misanthropony has an IQ above 100? Misanthropony, like, I have no problem he, with you. He, You're he trying is, your best out I there, have, buddy. I, I don't know enough about IQ to make statements like that. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't, I'll, I'll, hey, it doesn't I'll, make you a better or worse person to be stupid. It just okay. makes it so people sure. like me can't I'm glad, I'm glad according to Digi, I we all have excuses now for why we love Morgan <laughs> Morty so I, I much. Won't make, I, won't, I won't make any sweeping statements about the man, but his arguments in the videos directed at me did not give the impression of overwhelming intelligence. I've, I've, seen, <laughs> that that dude's, I've seen that dude's content since back in the pony days when he made videos, by the way, shitting on all of us, he did. and yet yeah. is somehow yep. like the biggest I'd like to point out for the record the that as far as I know, yeah, mine is the only one that's still up, even though it was... Oh, is that true? It, it, oh, yeah, really? Like, Cause, Wait, cause you're what? My, his, my, his, his attack video, video. By yeah he deleted oh, all yeah. the other ones but he made mine and then put the apology at the end of mine and kept it up what yeah great oh great which okay. i always found probably, was kind of funny that is so that's amusing. that's the most i'm going to get into that drama is that <laughs> that was kind of weird okay. no no okay. Off- like no offense to you say the funny you might be fine but i'm just saying you, the, the, uh, you, you <laughs> might not be the most intelligent person and I, that's fine the statements like, of digi bro do not reflect the, the yeah, yeah. Of the <laughs> podcast. i think i think there's some intent offense gonna come through should i be hey, concerned we just break in oh, I, I don't think so oh my just god is that a no 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 editing no filter nothing yeah this is this all going on in fact it's gonna be echoed so they hear it twice now i now i feel bad because misanthropy Pony like comments on 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 this channel and like really likes. Yeah, the show. yeah, he like loves yeah, it. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Look, it's, we're just he, he joking around it, here, right, guys? Is right? The one who shits <laughs> right, on right. you all the time? Like that? He I, did. The, he did. The, yeah, he he did, but it didn't. He did, but it didn't make me feel bad because it just bounced off because it didn't mean anything to me. Because to me, it seemed, it seemed like to make Jackie pretty opinion. mad. She was pretty it, fucking pissed. She did. Oh my god. She got pretty mad. I'm not gonna specify. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it vague here. But while I was at Ben's just a week ago, it was the most you euphoric time because every time we got in the car we just hot boxed insults about like the various people within our lives and it was just like a <laughs> drama hot box where we were just high on vapes and anger and we it just fucking lot. we just rode to Valhalla it sounds, it was it sounds very... like a normal day in the saint household <laughs> it was yeah, very, that's it, true. yeah pretty much it was very Munchie, cathartic did they get though. you to vape did they convince you to vape no <laughs> no please no. say no please no, don't let no, that disgusting of stuff not. touch your lips Dude, Munchie thank, I, you. I, I, thank l- you my horse my my horse my, my, my voice got so hoarse and like and like like my voice wouldn't work because I just inhaled so much secondhand vague that my voice just got so <laughs> fucking high and I couldn't speak anymore. It was really, it was true. It was, true. It, it was really awful. Like, vape. like, like after like an entire day, I just was like, hey, I can't, hey, Ben, I need to get some pizza, please. I just couldn't fucking, I, I just I couldn't believe, speak anymore. I actually believe that's possible in a car with Ben and Jackie because they yeah, vape sure. way harder than normal people vape. Yeah. <laughs> like when Jackie, when Jackie pulls that's a true. vape, there's a fucking cloud after yeah, that yeah. fucking vape. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a, a haze. I was, surra- there's I was a surrounded by Vaughn. I was surrounded by fog the entire time I was at Ben's house. The fucking neighborhood children gather outside (laughs) the St. House windows to inhale that sweet cloud coming out the cracks of the wall. Jackie hits the vape like like asthmatics hit a... uh, Like like a a truck hitting a brick fucking wall. (laughs) What is the the fucking thing called that goddamn asthmatics use? I don't even know who that is, dog. An inhaler. Jackie hits that vape like my dad hit my mom when I came out. (laughs) (laughs) It's gay. Um, <laughs> my deepest apo- my deepest apologies for your oncoming uh, emphysema. <laughs> Indeed, um, I'll uh, never forgive okay, you. Okay, guys, <laughs> let's let's center ourselves here. Yeah, uh, center, our let's center, center our chakras. Let's, yeah. let's yeah. talk about how drama has objectively zero worth and is a waste of all your time to even engage in it in even a little bit. I completely bit. disagree, but I'm yeah. I, this okay. is what I came yeah, here yeah, to I argue. That's what I want to talk about yeah. because the the, the 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 rowdy fucker stuff was fun and you know and people great. liked it. It, it, uh, it, was, it, it was a great time. It was completely fun to record, and, and it was fun for all of our audience. And like, it was fun you know, for the I, whole family, and everyone enjoyed it. I see the people who died. I see, I see the rowdy fucker stuff as kind of like a version of like the Digi and that anime snob thing, because it's like, okay. like it's fun to shit on someone like that. And like all at the end of the day, who gives a well, shit what they have like, to say? There's nothing with at that, stake. With both snob and FNGR, they deserve it because they're yeah. dishing it out constantly. And yeah. it's all anybody wants sure. to see yeah. is for someone to come just along. Just want to go on. 
Just want to go on the record and say that FNGR is far inferior to Misanthropony. FNGR is by far the greater oh, oh, villain. Oh, 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 of yeah. That side. Right. Misanthropony, okay, sure. I, I, I honestly don't have that much hard feelings towards. You know, I don't like what he yeah. said about me and and well, my go. and my brother. But you know <laughs> what? Uh, FNGR is far worse, and honestly, he should be uh, eliminated from F- the F- game. <laughs> he should be dissolved. <laughs> oh my god! He, 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 needs he, to get he should be removed my, from the my, board. My twenty-player right, right. kill streak should end with all of him being each twenty players that I kill, and that's. <laughs> How I feel about the subject. <laughs> okay, okay. FNGR and that anime snob are both dudes who thrive on drama, who think right, for some right. reason that everybody wants it, like like that everybody wants them yeah. to do that, and and no like no no I one really the does. They make yeah that's the excuse. And they make, I, I think because... that in both cases, there's a huge amount of people just waiting in the wings, hoping someone destroys these guys because yeah. they're yeah, not very definitely. smart, mm-hmm. and most people won't bother. Like with with that anime snob. Like what? What everybody always told me is like, just don't don't bother with him because like, what's the point? You know, you're not. Gonna I think change I told him. you He's that too, yeah, but in yeah. hindsight, I I understand. Because on the one hand, I hated that anime snob, and I didn't yeah. want him to gain the exposure that would inevitably right, come right. from me talking about him. But but now, with the benefit of hindsight, I can see like the th- why the you about, would just for your own enjoyment and yeah. for your own. Well, the thing like, about catharsis. snob and FNGR is that they will never stop. They're both yeah. Yeah. both of those guys are in their late thirties. Both of those are guys in right, their late right. 30s who have been on the internet for decades, who have been doing the same thing forever and will continue to. FNGR is still making weekly videos about the My Little Pony fandom in yeah. 2017, yep. November Shocking. 2017. Yep, yep. Like, mm-hmm. nothing's going to stop those two guys from continuing to do that. So, like, you're not going to – people are like, oh, if you give him attention, it's just going to uh, empower him. Well, uh, nothing's okay, going to okay. stop him. Like, he's always going to be doing this. So you he, might as here, well just okay. fucking shit on him for the you, hell of you it. Will not be able i'm totally with you you will not be able to stop people who wish to engage in drama but here's what my my argument would be that but your time can be better used than wasting it on involving yourself with these people that's and i think that's true but like you know what are you going to be 100 percent optimized all the time are you going to be are you going to be are you going to use your time constructively 100 of the time realistically (laughs) using my patented formula of weird utilitarianism (laughs) available at all cvs's for 1999 you can strive you can strive to achieve getting as close to that goal as possible, which I think yeah. is what we should all try yeah. to do. Well, that's I guess. my, you know, I guess that's what so. I would want. I, Here's my, I, I and, like, and, and certainly drama on this level is not something that I would want to like overindulge well, in, or it, even, make, I, like, I, I regular, even make a regular, even make a regular part the of my diet. Can the value of drama sure, be from sure. that it, it it gives your it galvanizes your audience against something, and that kind of gives them that something be to good. be invested in and, and enhance sure. your personal and narrative. I, yeah. I even th- I gotta I go admit that there is. Okay, but um, you t- I would even admit that there is entertainment value to drama. It, I would just admit it's exactly limited, and to keep every, keep things in perspective. That's that's all. I'm I, I mean, you don't want it to be way, your character. I want to exactly. I want to exactly. bring up this this amazing Dick Masterson quote that that a really like for me clinched like why drama is is fine, and okay. he was talking about how because a huge part of the Dick show is him making fun of Maddox. It's a huge part mm-hmm. of it is the mm-hmm. drama he has with Maddox because of the fact that Maddox did all this shitty stuff to him and continues to do shitty stuff to him, and so Dick airs it all out. Out immediately partly to protect himself because it makes it easier for him to have all the cards if you know if the public is mm-hmm. swayed to his side but he also he was talking about like the criticism he always gets of, like this show just relies on drama and he said i'm sorry right. that i provide serialized content with deep archetypal characters who you know who to tell you something about the world around you and like like yeah it's it's just a show like, mm-hmm. what he's turned it into, he's taken real life and turned it into a TV show. And what yeah. we get out of a TV show is that it helps us to better understand <laughs> the world, you know? Like, looking at Maddox and the particular ways that he fails is actually kind of helpful to, like, dealing with other people like Maddox, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, it makes I mean, me important... look at him and go, like, oh, fuck, you know? Now I get why that guy acts that way. Because he's just the, like the, fucking Maddox, you know? The important <laughs> distinction here, I think, is is that uh, uh, Dick, Dick is his own person with his own character he's not just defined by being the anti Maddox guy yeah and like mm-hmm. that that mm-hmm. makes it that makes it like mean something that he has these opinions right if sure. you're if you're like fngr oh yeah. you're fucking your whole thing is you you're you're in there coming mm-hmm. down on people left and right whatever nobody F- knows why because what do you FNGR's fucking stand for other is, than to shit on people like you yeah. can't Indeed. understand Indeed. enough of what comes out of his mouth to figure no. out what his uh what his stance is I, no i mean there's there's nothing. There's nothing that could save that particular content. Um, that that, like, that particular general, soul from being reaped by fucking Satan himself. 
Yeah, his kundalini is of, so wicked and fucking you know twisted <laughs> up that you can't the, even straighten the out. Day even if you is, to. The day of reckoning is the day of reckoning is coming. His merkaba is artificial as fuck. <laughs> and it's, so, it's not gonna go well for him. He, he was one of the original Martians that came to Earth and then you know integrated into the population. <laughs> he is, and he's just so greedy and power F- driven. That FNGR he needs to is stop. fully. Fully left brain, fully male. <laughs> Indeed, his, at least his proto a, masculine he, ideology will not survive the test to come. They yeah, will yeah. not endure. <laughs> is this spirit science shit you guys are spouting right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Truth. It's, it's okay, truth with a capital ask, T. Do you think that that's is is spirit science where the mind expansion meme came from? Because oh that my imagery God. is it's in there similar. all the fucking time. I was just uh, watching. Uh, I don't know. I don't Me know. and May got really baked and I, watched spirit science yesterday, and that shit. Oh shit! Really? Dude, it feels yeah. so weird because it feels like like an, like a parody of an educational video that would be in a yeah. movie. It does. I have. It I'm does. still not sold that it's not a oh, fucking joke. I'm sure it's real, but like the comments, we weren't sure. We read this guy. This guy named like. Uh, it was his name was like Bobo the Bacon Lord or something like that, and he had this comment <laughs> good, that I read, good. and it was it was uh, it was amazing, and I just was stewing over like whether it was a troll comment or not. Like I couldn't tell. Uh-huh. It was fascinating. I highly recommend going to watch Spirit Science and reading the comments because it's just <laughs> it's just getting lost. It's it's again it's like the genius thing where where it's so out there you can't believe it's real. Mm-hmm. But it, I, I know. learned but it I learned must something. Be real. I learned I did some research and I found some interesting i'm gonna share it with you it sheds some light on spirit science because in that fucking history of humanity or whatever video he talks about thoth he talks about yes, like the, yes. the egyptian god thoth like mm-hmm, reveals mm-hmm. these things and that's how we know and i was like how are you talking to him like where is this source and i looked it up and it turns out that in that video he references a book and the book is by some guy and in this book this guy who wrote it claims that he has like met this like ancient like time traveling wizard who is like the big Egyptian guy. So basically yeah. all of this is based on one guy's book where he says that like a fucking time traveler visited him and told me this stuff. Dude, so, like, I, that, see, I didn't know that. Deal. I didn't know that. Yeah, that, Any, that's cool. what the whole Thoth thing is about. Anytime yeah. you can't, gotcha. anytime you're sitting there watching Spirit Science debating yourself whether it's real or not, just remember that Every religion is real, and they are all every bit as fucking weird <laughs> yep. as that. Yeah, we yeah. just grew By the up way, hearing it, so it doesn't seem as weird. But if you told, if you described like the the stories of the Old Testament to somebody who did not grow up with them, they're just gonna look at you like, "What in the fuck are you talking about?" Like that is fucking you know, insanity. I don't know if this constitutes as like drama, but me and Munchie were were watching the videos at one point. We were considering doing something similar to a rowdy fuckers cop killers like yeah. for spirit science, me- and I think it could be like the greatest. I idea of all time. I, I, I would like to do that in the, in, in the somewhat near future, before the world ends, of course, and before we, we reach the end of the perception of the equinox <laughs> and we turn back into our spawn and sleep phase. We have to, you yeah, know, we have to too. use our third eye while it's still open, if you know what I mean. The world needs to see this shit. It's yeah. unbelievable. Uh, okay, the, the, okay, uh, well. Me and Ben watched uh, the Human History movie in its entirety, by the way, and it was a transcendent experience. <laughs> it shed a lot of light on a lot of things for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it really does a lot of clarifying. Like, let's uh, yeah, it let's really, get it back really... on topic with the drama. <laughs> it's right. turning into I'm, the spirit I'm just, science I'm just episode. saying. I'm just saying. We, we there could, were a lot oh, my God. We should have a ex- crazy consciousness episode. We should. That's a great idea. I I'm writing that down right now. I'm just Please saying do. it really shed light on a lot of the mysteries that that I had not understood, like the like the energy networks permeating the earth. I'd always wondered <laughs> and, about And those, that's and why all of those military bases are on this grid on, on these yeah, tiny on those, islands. On the, on the nodes. They're on the spirit nodes, dude. <laughs> it okay, all makes all right, sense. All right. So uh, uh, let's get into maybe the the negative effects of drama. Well, well, well yeah, yeah. I, I want to start that off with saying that I, too, uh-huh. have had a Derek in my life. And uh, eventually, <laughs> like it, he became like like a like a joke to me. I would eventually just like go to my friend's house, and like whenever we would like talk, we would just be like, "Hey, I wonder what this guy's doing. <laughs> I bet he's fucking that kid, if you know what I mean." <laughs> uh, and uh, so it, it would just turn into such like valuable entertainment that would be better than watching a movie. It would just be us like thinking about what he's done and what kind of a person he is, and you know, picking apart like the characterization of him and like you know writing fan fictions about himself in our brain and that became our entertainment and basically it was an entire it was a great time and uh, if, the the negative effects of 
drama mm-hmm. is that mm-hmm. it is inherently unsustainable. Like these people, the, the guy who is an instigator, and he, you know, obviously when you're an instigator, you want to start drama. So when you start drama, and that's your entire deal, then eventually it's going to get to the point where the drama you make is going to be about you, and you are going to be the drama that is removed. You are going yeah. to like, like, <laughs> like. I think that's kind of what has happened to Snob. Like, yeah, no yeah, one yeah. pays attention to yeah, him anymore because all anybody if, knows about him is that he yeah, must yeah, that's, start that's drama. Yeah, that's what I was saying before. Like, yeah. drama can be fun and all, but if you I mean, become if you become a drama person, then you are yeah. become the one causing he, yeah. the drama. He did yeah. get literally booted from the platform, so that didn't help his visibility exactly. It, it, you know? it, it, so, it, it, uh, it's like... like when you are trying to start shit with someone, that's exactly what you're doing. You're starting shit with someone. And after a while, they're just going to be like, okay, well, this isn't fucking worth it. And then they're going to cut you out. It is inherently like, like once you go down that road, unless you fucking do it in, you know, absolute sincerity and beauty, uh, you, you know, a, as you... depicted the Ryan Scott Pillars, then you can, <laughs> then you can easily tumble and fucking fall and eventually become the very, like, like when you want it, like, say if you like don't like some, what someone does and you start, t- you know, taking the piss out of them and do that constantly, then eventually you're going to be the one that people hate and want to take the piss out of That's and true. eliminate if, if you from love, society. If you, if you indulge too much in drama and you love drama and, like, drama is a source of enjoyment for you and becomes, like, too much of that, then what eventually happens is you, 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 you might run out of other drama and you will be, like, fucking hooked on it and you will feel yeah. the need to start it where none exists. Uh, you'll have, yeah. to, create, yeah. you'll have to create new drama so that yeah. there will be drama for, like, your life because you need That's that. That's a dangerous if you develop If you develop that appetite, you will need to yeah. feed. Yeah. For, for me, yeah. I, I, drama drama is best served as a side dish and not a main course. Yeah, yeah that's. Very I gotta true. say though, like it's the the best is when drama just falls in your lap. That's when it's truly beautiful. Yeah, that's why yeah. that right an opportunity. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's just giving me permission. It's like it's like if, life handing me a sledgehammer and then putting a, a watermelon in front of me and being like, "Go ahead, dude." That's what it was exactly. with uh, with for Never World. Uh, a few months ago, where this I I just made a video about anime streaming and some some idiot YouTuber just like decides to start drama for no reason. He's just like like s- saying all this shit about me. He's like contacting my sponsors, like contacting Crunchyroll, and being like, "How what dare you fuck? break?" Yeah, that, oh the reason God. I the reason I came at for Neverworld so hard is that he got on Twitter and was like at messaging Crunchyroll and Miles from Crunchyroll, like sending them my video and being like, "How dare you have this person at your convention fuck when the when fuck he's like off, anti oh, when he's anti cool. legal streaming or whatever," which I'm not, and he completely yeah. misinterpreted the video. So yeah, right, that's for me, issue. I was just issue. like, "Oh, this is such a beautiful opportunity," you know, like this is for such Neverworld. A- is a, is a dummy who just yeah. misunderstood your point and thought you're just like no never pay anything yeah. even though you literally pay for whatever it's not yeah, like, yeah. yeah. He, he, it's, he, it's okay it's it's, it's it was okay just that, and it's it was just that feeling of seeing this guy who I've never really watched his content because I mean it's terrible you know and it's like I have every reason to fight this dude because there's nothing I yeah. can gain from from being friend like nobody likes him that I know you know there's no mm-hmm. bridge that I'm worried about burning well, so you this guy just number one fan right here so you might want to separate the plate real quick <laughs> you, you can you can engage with drama and it can be fine as long yeah. as your hands are clean like but yeah. if you're the one stirring the pot it's oh, dangerous and, the, well, the best and people part will is that come he has, at you for it the best part is that he has more subscribers than me so it wasn't yeah. like I was yeah. punching down it's like a you guy you unshackle the beast oh he Let handed me himself on a platter yeah. and as soon as he did I fucking railed him and i'm and he 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 actually like <laughs> has continued to talk shit about me in like live streams and stuff but he seems to be sure, keeping it on sure. the down low like mm-hmm. so I'm, like I, I, for now i'm just like oh whatever you know everybody know like after i made my video everybody told me like yeah everybody knows he's retarded like it's not a big deal and i was like okay well I, i'm not gonna keep picking on him if, if nobody takes him seriously but like you know uh-huh. but at the same time it's like ah just just give me the push dude just come back well, you know just come he, make okay. another video about me i'm ready you know here's the thing yeah. here's the thing that's frustrating me and it, it's it, this is semi drama related but it's it's the idea of sort of the prodigal son you know you know the story of the prodigal son who mm-hmm, who no. uh you know from the bible and shit so there was a father Never with two sons he had one son that was a good old boy and just did his homework and did his chores and drank his milk and grew up big and strong the other son left home and was a big fuck up and like the son who stayed around like um like, he, he just continued to do his job diligently, and the father, you know, thought it was okay. But then the fuck-up son comes home and, like, begs for help, or is just like, Dad, oh, I fucked up, please help me. And, like, the, the, the Bible says, like, canonically, the, the, the father loves the fuck-up son way more than, like, the son who stayed around and was the good old boy. And this is evident in, like, every level of human interaction, that, like, people love, like, redemption stories or, like, people getting saved from shit. 
So yeah, like, uh, I feel like like drama is one of the ways that bad behavior is rewarded, and not not just because it like can you start, be, yeah, like it, it, even if you like bad intentions are what get rewarded when people do this stuff. Like if if you. Uh, it, like if someone starts drama and then gets called out because like or someone does it commits a crime and then they are redeemed some way that person will be more loved than the person who did nothing wrong the entire time and yeah. like drama is very much related to this and this is this is a little different but like it's the idea of how many times have we seen people whose youtube channels got deleted and then oh, like a yeah. gigantic campaign and starts Every single time I have ever seen someone's channel deleted for like not for like legitimate reasons, it comes back and surges in popularity. Every single I want yeah. YouTube to delete my channel. YouTube, please delete Best Guy Ever so I can do a fucking campaign and double my size instantly. You know, it that, will happen. I, I, it I'll will tell happen. You that never uh, it never helped me. I've had my channel deleted <laughs> twice. It never caused a surge, but I also never made a big fucking deal about it. Well, there's your issue right yeah. there. You gotta make. You yeah. gotta cry you gotta and have scream. That and, uh, indignation. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, okay, but th that is true. Maybe maybe it doesn't double everybody's size all the time. But it ne yeah. it never hurts as long as you actually get the channel back. I mean, if you oh, know, yeah, that's that's, uh, the, that's, oh, that's a bit it, of a. It did, it did probably increase my Patreon though, because like okay, people just get worried go. about you. That's I the guess, most important. Yeah, money yeah. at you, which is uh, yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. interesting. You know. Well, so, so that, that's that's the concept I'm talking about here. It's like this when you're filled with the righteous indignation here. Yeah. yeah, and I'm not like obviously that like, is you why didn't the Dick Show is so successful. Like exactly, the Dick Show. Exactly. The Dick Show was already a successful podcast. It, it probably had like uh, seven grand before Maddox mm -hmm. uh, made his big Dick Lies video, and right, right. a couple weeks, uh, like a month later, it had like twenty grand. You know, like people mm -hmm. were. Mm -hmm. It was the anger people had towards Maddox. That spurned them to con to to raise their donations to Dick, and the fact that Dick capitalized Poor on Maddox. it so well by making it such a good story, you know, mm -hmm. whereas Maddox was being silent like a fucking idiot. And Maddox uh, is effective at like Maddox is effective at like since he is famous, uh, he's good at like giving other people stuff by attacking them. He gives them, you know, <laughs> he, like like yeah. Dick achieves success in this way through Maddox fucking with them, and right. like but he can't but he can't do it for himself is the point I'm trying to get to. He like. It's, it's yeah. I don't know. What the fuck it's is he doing? It's because he's a fucking idiot. That's why. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway. Well, the man did literally invent the internet, so I credit wanted for to that. talk about the, uh, yeah. the, 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 <laughs> the negative effects of drama. The main yeah. ones that I've felt, um, mostly that whether or not the person you have drama with takes it seriously, some of their fans will take it mm. very seriously. And Indeed. And they will come like there was a few like the people who were the most mad at me when i made my shit talking anime youtubers video were not anybody who i talked shit about in the video it was mm -hmm. other auxiliary people who thought like who were just upset that i had done that the worst i'm just gonna call them out let's start drama right now oh, <laughs> oh, <there we> go. <laughs> it would not be a drama cast without it all right the worst of them all is nolan b from the pizza party podcast oh, oh my god uh -oh. um, because uh -oh. that guy had invited me onto the podcast. He was a he was a big fan of me. He invited <laughs> well, me onto the pizza party. I just have to mention that Pan Pizza is a meme. Like that, I yeah. hate him so much that he is a meme in my own circle <laughs> of friends. So I'm I, very that, excited. Uh, to hear apparently, you uh, apparently, my friend Blind Skywatcher like obsessively watches his videos as a meme. Like because he's yeah, like yeah, deeply yeah, yeah. fascinated. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, so the Pizza Party podcast was a very popular podcast. Apparently. Um, he he invite I was invited on by Nolan B. Um, nobody else in the podcast really knew who I was. It was kind of a mediocre show. Um, I didn't really enjoy doing it. Uh, they edit the shit out of that podcast. Like they cut out all the silences and they speed it up so it sounds way better than it actually is to record. But um, after that, he kept like trying to like stay in contact with me, but I never really responded because I didn't really know the guy. And a lot of the stuff he would ask me is stuff you could just find out by watching my videos. Um, so I kind of kept him at arm's length. After I made the shit-talking anime YouTubers video, that dude writes this, like, huge screed about what a piece of shit I am for doing that. And, like, just all this stuff about how I'm, like, a monster on his Tumblr. And, uh, you know, released it publicly and, like, was just shitting on me on Twitter and stuff. Like, all this out of nowhere because he was mad on other people's behalf. Nobody who watched, who was insulted in the video was even angry about it, you know? Mm -hmm. But this dude goes fucking ham. And I was just like... This is like this is the on the one hand this is a negative effect of starting drama is that you got to deal with people like this. On the other hand, you also get the fun of, you know, like showing all your friends this guy and going like, "Look at this fucking idiot," you know. Um which is very gratifying in itself. 
Uh, I think we've all done that at least. Like whether we start mm-hmm. open drama, when oh, when people come at you, it's so satisfying to show your friends and point and laugh at them. Oh, oh, definitely. Know? Yeah. Uh, that guy. By the way, I, on that guy, I I forget how I found his Twitter, but apparently he's like still going hard on like the PCP itself is horrible, and we're all a bunch Who, of Nolan B is? Yeah, yeah. Oh wow! Can we, I didn't know. Can that. we start Real? some? Can we do start? We, some, do we start have a pizza, fucking drama? Do we have what a beef? The, hey, pizza dude, party dude, podcast oh, is a bigger no. podcast dude, than it's us. P, it's PCP, versus, pizza PCP. Pizza yeah. Yeah. PCP <laughs> versus PPP. Yeah, PCP versus PPP, dude. It. We got it. It's that C. It's that C versus P. It's that C and that There's P. It's that CP. Wait, wait, wait! Oh God, CP. Fuck it! No, no. We need to do a few. We need to do a few months of research to categorize the actual accusations made. Before before I jump into that, I will say we do have we do have shared audience with them. I know that i know that there are oh, people oh, who definitely. like both our podcasts and theirs which oh, means definitely. it's even a better reason to start drama. oh my oh god, my god. Oh, oh, maybe maybe do you think they'd maybe I'll bite go. do you think they would bite if we deliberately maybe. started drama you've already I'm got one guy so who hates down, me right? that <laughs> maybe i'll listen maybe i'll go listen to some just to see because i've never I'd listened have to, to have them. legitimate grievances but the fact that they shit talk you is 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 that's like oh, the first that's bullet a, that's in my good, clip that's already a good, that's yeah. a good uh, springboard oh for, uh, uh, I, don't, I don't remember if he took down that tumblr post but like if i could find it if you, if you guys read that thing you'd be like oh I, god I, rem- <laughs> I remember reading this at the time so i remember i want to know where he's I'm curious about what he said I, about the PCP in Yeah, in because that, then I have some it, it, skin in the game now. It's 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 it, it, it's just some offhand comments like the PCP, like like it, 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 he has he has the same Insidious. air that that Vita did in that first uh, Miss Anthropony Vita. Like is it, is oh like, like, oh Munchie, I don't watch that channel. I have standards. Well, Whoa. I mean, hey, that's that, that's that's cool and all, guys. But you know, the PCP doesn't feel the need to heavily edit and speed up its audio in order yeah. to be oh. interesting. Yeah, just saying. <laughs> yeah. Guys, none of that over just here. Just fucking saying. <laughs> mm. By the way, I do pitiful. I do have an old grievance with uh, Rebel Taxi and that he's oh one of the God, legions. It's happening. He yes. he is one of the legions yes. of people who made a disgusting and unworthy Gurren Logan reviews that I had to correct on yeah. my channel. So uh you're welcome for that Rebel Taxi. Your oh, sin boy. has been washed away. Let's uh, there do you it. go. Uh, the funniest go. thing about this, this if we did start a drama with them deliberately is that our entire audience would know we were doing it just to fuck with them and troll and start drama. <laughs> That's true. Like, everyone in our audience knows what we're doing. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. But it would be oh so my. funny. I'm so they happy that it. this... I want it. This character arc that has been, like... like th- th- This, like, storyline <laughs> that has started within my group of friends is becoming a real thing, not a joke that is actually <laughs> transpiring in real life now. Oh, how how fortuitous. How I know. It's incredible. <laughs> Well, uh, is there anything else to say on the subject? Or should I we mean, like, move into questions I, or something? I think, I think else, we've uh, run the... I, th- I mean, I yeah. don't know. Drama is good unless it isn't. Most of the time it isn't, but sometimes... Mwah. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck, I will say... It's, it's a good spice on say. top was, of your normal content. Yeah, mm-hmm, there was mm-hmm. one more uh, negative consequence of drama I wanted to sure. bring up, which is just that... Um, because I personally have started so much drama, it seems like a lot of like smaller creators are like afraid of me. Like, a lot mm. of people seem tepid about approaching me. I don't know if that's more because I'm, like, popular or if it's because of the drama. I feel like I may have seen but that But it seems a like bit, both. Maybe. Like, I've definitely yeah. had people seem like they're, like, afraid to approach me. And, like, when they want to, like, ask me for something, like, for, like, a project, it's always, like, they'll do it through somebody else I know or, like, to try to, like, try to, like work mm. their way in and I'm like dude I talk to my fans in the comment sections like I'm not hard yeah. to reach you yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't so have to people, do this you know people should have a normal amount of trepidation about I don't know like trying to show something to someone who you might be wasting their time like not that's even fair, that but like, like, like for instance yeah. uh, I mean like for the, there's the big anti-tuber chat room that I was right, initially right. not added to uh, Jeff claims that's because he forgot to send me the message but oh, like fucking yeah, but right, I had right. I had heard that there was some trepidation about whether I should be invited because I might hate everyone in there and start a bunch of shit, you know? Which well. is like, it's just a mischaracterization of like, yes, I get into drama, but it's usually because it's always we've justified reached... for a specific reason that is accumulated yeah. over the course we've of millennia. We've reached the end of a rope and it has <laughs> yeah, to, exactly, something has exactly. to give. And I'm not willing to stay quiet forever the way a lot of people are, you know? Mm-hmm. But I'm not like, it's not like if you start talking to me, I'm going to flip shit on you and make mm-hmm. a video about you immediately, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. Just because you like I said think that was, 
Yeah, I, I get that a lot too, weirdly yeah. enough. A lot of fans, they'll always be like, you know, Munchie, like, I'm, I'm really sorry, please don't kill me, I don't want to die, I, I, uh, please, and, I'm, and, and of course I kill them instantly. Of course I don't allow them the time to prove themselves. Whereas if they had faced me unblinking, with yeah, the sheer yeah. terror exactly. naked on their face, then I might have spared I, them. I could know? sense that that kundalini was severed, and I needed to fucking <laughs> chop it into a million pieces. Exactly. Uh, yeah. there, there's a, currently in, in one piece of Big Mom has this power where it, actually you know what I won't spoil it never mind forget it, forget it. <laughs> excellent I, it, it was relevant but I'm not gonna spoil it excellent. life is just a life is just a big game of Beyblade and everyone's Merkaba <laughs> is their Beyblade and you just have to crash <laughs> your Merkabas into each other and whichever one breaks is the loser and die life's I guess just a I game and you're a noob <laughs> I, I don't feel the need I guess to go into it in detail but I I personally choose in general to live my life. Uh, like, just talking about ideas. I, I know I say this a million times. It's whatever. Like, Eleanor Roosevelt, like, big people talk about ideas, whatever. Small people talk about people. W- whatever the fucking quote is. You know the one thing. And yeah. I, I try to do everything by that, and I just think it makes the most and sense. And best guy ever talks about Star Trek. Hey, mm-hmm. hey Star Trek's not, not bad. You could do worse. You could do worse. <laughs> Especially Star Trek Discovery on Sundays at 7 p.m. on NBC. To uh, me. No, I'm just kidding. I drama don't know. is just like... Treat it as, like, if you're watching, like, a funny YouTube video and expend that exact amount of time on it, a.k.a., like, you know, not that long per day, yeah, if at yeah. all. And just, so and just, just use it as, as like, a funny long. entertainment mm-hmm. every once in a blue moon. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's how yep. I feel That's about good. it. That's Cons- good. 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 And and yeah. and when, and when, great, but and when your friends fun. wrong you in any way, please go to your other friends and shit talk about them constantly. Preferably <laughs> while hot boxing vape in a car. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, there you go. Uh, that's the, my that's, the, that's the news from the street from Munchie wears tiny hats. Thanks <laughs> for the like report. I'm, I feel like I'm gonna regret that I potentially just started more drama with Nolan B. Like I already regret having said anything. What have I well, done? Oh what God! Have done? What have I done? No, his podcast is gay, and so is he. Okay. And He's now done. we need we need to start uh, PCP do? drama when you told us to take it out, but we didn't cut it out. And now you're mad oh at all God. of us, and we begin. We get, the destruction begins. Who, who's the Maddox of the PCP? <laughs> Davu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he will be very insulted to hear that. But anyway, <laughs> thanks. All right, let, let's let's do some questions while we're, yeah, while we're doing this course. motherfucker. I'll, I'll let's, take let's do it, everybody. Lunch. Okay, uh, how about, uh, I, uh, this isn't a question, at Jen is Makudamaru. When is a procrastinator's uh, never mind. I'm bingo board? I'm finding that him and all of his uh, his fans uh-huh. seem to shit talk us pretty regularly, so. Well, all right, so well, we got Okay, we'll, we'll look into this. We'll look yeah, into, like, no, we'll, we'll really like, know we'll next episode no, what re- uh, I'm what's about real, to inspire. Yeah. I'm for real gonna fucking look into this, and if there's fucking shit being slung, I'm no. gonna have something to say about it. Whether, yeah, whether okay. or not he's same, slinging same. shit, there definitely seems to be a sentiment among people who follow him that is very anti-PCP. Okay. 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 Oh my God. We're, what was this, Jenny's most? This, this is gonna be our first Moby Dick. This is gonna be the whale that we have to fucking spear through the heart. Oh, to, to, in order, this this is gonna be our fucking. We're, we're gonna have our wiggling day where we have to fucking you know face the seven <laughs> trials and you we've know, been, come out as baby trolls. We've been we've been uh, uh, assembling this motley crew for just yeah. a second, for a promised day. <laughs> for, for the record, for the opinions of the opinions of some PCP members do not reflect the opinions of others. Anybody who does not Indeed. want to be involved in this drama is not involved in this drama. Do not throw everybody under the bus of the PCP just because me and Ben and Munchie happen to be assholes. <laughs> <laughs> It Indeed. has nothing to do with anybody who's not on this episode. None of them give a fuck Certainly. about Nolan B or the Pizza Party podcast, I'm sure. Unless they <laughs> they at least, at least not at yet. Yeah, at least not yet. They will. They will. Uh, the <laughs> only reason I'm so enthusiastic is because whenever I see a pan pizza video thumbnail, I just laugh so hard that I, I cry. <laughs> yeah. I, I got to check this out. Okay, whatever. All right, let's, <laughs> no, let's I'm, I'm sincerely interested. Okay, good. Update us. Uh, here's here's the thing. At Janice uh, uh asks, or no, no, doesn't ask, but says, when is a procrastinator's bingo board getting made? Get on it, fans. And I actually think that would be a great idea I'm when listening to the we PCP. Done that that should be a real thing. I think seems... maybe I think maybe because we have a, a rotating cast, maybe every individual member would need their own bingo board. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. not a bad cause, idea. Because if it because if it was something like Nate's weird utilitarian, well, I mean that doesn't yeah. count because you're on every episode. But if it's something <laughs> like uh, I don't have but if to it's, be though. But if it's something like you know yeah, Tom, Tom, every time Tom Ben takes a vape, every time Ben vapes or fucks yeah, up yeah. editing. Yeah. Or like, I made mean, yeah. a drinking game with that already. Yeah, so. we already did the drinking game with all these things you guys are freaking up. 
That's the, true. Uh, that seems true. more our speed than a bingo board, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, I, okay. Well, whatever. Bingo board. Well, if okay, some li- fan li- wants to make a bingo board, please do. Th- yeah, please. Th- if you want to be, if you want to do all the heavy lifting for us, because <laughs> we're 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 just Indeed. too busy with with we all this amazing it. content. Oh, we'll absolutely. retweet it so everyone could use it. For From sure. <laughs> the the Procrastinators Patreon Lounge, donate to our Patreon for just one measly minuscule of a dollar, and okay. you can get in, and, and we'll fuck you, yeah. dream you yeah. mercilessly. And if you're if you're in the Discord, you're much more likely to have your questions read on the show, such exactly. as no doubt. a question by, by, from uh, by no, I want to say by oh, garbage burner. Who's the worst pair of you on the podcast? Like 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 who of us? You know, there's these social social media podcasts, the right focus cop killers, there's all that. Who like would be like the worst two people to have on a podcast at any given time i think me and devu even though i really like devu i, I, I just don't i remember you and devu did not gel at all on the first rowdy fuckers yeah, yeah. devu did not know we, what to we, make of we you. gelled kind of real in real life like a little bit i mean yeah. that was mainly just because we have a lot to say about mario and luigi but other than yeah that, and when i'm trying to fucking sleep at like yeah. 3 a.m with the goddamn morning <laughs> You worthless creatures. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna say me and Jesse because we do not see eye to eye on anything, and e- even like it, as like as far <laughs> sure, back sure. as the show has gone, there have been things that Jesse has said that I have tried to argue. Like I remember we're talking about like like attitudes towards fans and stuff, and like attitudes uh-huh, towards uh-huh. criticism, and I have it has made me so mad before, and I have. And and it just does not. It's n- but not in a good way. You not know, in a, a lot not of us, in an entertaining a lot of us way approach things differently. The problem with this question is that it depends on what the podcast is about. Like I well, think that, I mean, that just, is true. Just if, in if, general, I'm I think if Ben and Jesse were doing a podcast about like a specific game they both liked, they would have an incredibly in depth conversation and both notice a bunch of shit that the rest of us wouldn't. Because you're both, like, very attentive viewers. I think if DeVu and Munchie had a conversation about, like, weird art, like, yeah. weird, like, like, like that, deep yes. web art, mm-hmm. it would be a fascinating podcast. So, like, mm-hmm. any combination of us, it's just a matter of finding the thing that the two of us can discuss, you know? Yeah, I agree. Uh, I, agree. I, I, I asked DeVu, to which he replied, ha ha, if you wanted to do an arm retrieval about the Kirby anime. And I think that <laughs> would be hey. hilarious. That sounds like a good plan. Yeah. Hey, listen uh, to this and, question. Me and Davu were gonna do like when when we were in Atlanta, we were walking around, and Davu was saying that uh-huh. we should do like a, a two person show about like weird art, and I was into it at the time, but it never got brought up again. What a shame. There's still time. There's still yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, listen to this question here. Uh, at Mozu Disposition asks, is Reverse Bukake pro feminist? Now, first of all, first of what all, can someone explain to me what the fuck reverse? Yeah, is that yeah, like a girl I was about to ask. Secreting? I'm gonna no, no, it. no. I this this is a girl stuffing the cum on her body back <laughs> into your dick. Oh. <laughs> I assume it's a girl. I assume it's a girl okay. squirting on a guy. I, okay, I checked it out, and I, I went to my friend Urban Dictionary, and he told me that reverse bukake <laughs> is the act on of first. one man yeah. being ejaculated on by a group of girls. So there you go. Oh, uh, um, is that pro feminist? I'm gonna say no. Like it. No, no. Why? It's still because right, still, it's still meant for a guy to jack off to. This is a that retarded is question. Sexist. Let's move on to another. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is bullshit. Right. Uh, I'm scared right. of. All you right. fear women's power. That's why you want to get away from this of question. Course you I do. Mis- of course I do. Of course. Student of Ethereum, who always asks like a thousand questions on every episode, but they're u- mm-hmm. usually all right ones uh-huh. in there. Uh, favorite <laughs> internet content creator who isn't making content anymore. Uh, Mr. B Tong. I was just going to say Mr. B Tong. Mr. B Tong. Yeah. 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 Um, oh, I would say Christian Weston Chandler, but he's back. But his new stuff is he's sucks back. and is boring. So as far as I'm concerned, Chris Chan oh. is dead. What, what's he oh. making now? What's he doing? He's still making comics, but they're stupid. Like they're just they're just like oh. him him like sending a positive message about trans rights. Snore. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. Fucking Jan Rankowski or Parker Dude ninety one. Like I'm fine with Parker Dude ninety one oh, yeah, being over. Yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine with that chapter from being closed. But yep. but his new channel Wisdom Gun is fucking gone. Dude, <laughs> like some sort of like drama that I don't fully understand. I need oh, to research no. this. I'm so fucking upset. Yawn, please come back. I love you with all my heart. I, I love DIY high guy where you where you play the role <laughs> of a CIA agent trying to test out various different drugs. I want I want that series <laughs> back in my life. DIY high guy. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds good. That sounds good. Oh, did, did his channel get like deleted, or was it did he no, take it down for no, some reason? No, no, it's just like he's just not. Okay, he's just not there anymore for like. Oh, uh, okay. For some unfortunate. He, reason. Maybe he tried every drug, and there was yeah. nothing left to do. <laughs> Let's mm-hmm. hope so. I yeah. I want to I want to ask a, a two part question. 
um, mostly because the question itself is fascinating, more so than whatever yeah. answer we could give. Um, it's from Squid Miku, who, sa- who asks, uh-huh. have you ever had a food phase? For example, I ate nothing mm. but SpaghettiOs for one year. Also, Whoa. what's something weird you like to eat? For example, for me, it's yogurt sandwiches. Oh my oh God. fucking God, Squid Miku, you have a problem, and it doesn't just <laughs> stop at this question. Uh, I got I got really wow. into tea for a while there. I was drinking a lot of weird teas. I, I'm uh, currently in my tea phase. I'm surrounded right now by pure leaf unsweetened black tea bottles just surrounding my complete naked facade uh, right now. Whenever, <laughs> whenever you guys say tea and then tell me that it's like store-bought bottled tea, I just throw up a little in my I'm, mouth. No, Make I'm, your I'm fucking ta- tea. I'm, I'm talking about stuff that I got from like an herb shop that I like Good. Brewed. Oh my Good. God. That's the good well, shit. I mean, yeah, I got some shit. like fancy white tea and was like way into like learning the exact temperature to, to brew it at and stuff. Oh my it was God. fun, but I don't <laughs> I, do it anymore because it's a hassle. I, I didn't know that and was the reward an aspect is that not could, worth it. I didn't know that Beyblade customization was a thing that you could do with tea. Though I realized <laughs> that's how obvious in retrospect. I'm gonna do that now. It's gonna be a new okay, thing that I, I do. So I, there I you actually go. did for for sophomore year of college. I survived mostly on gigantic boxes of goldfish. Gigantic box. Oh, I would bring them up to God. my room. I Mate. would not leave oh, or eat anything bad else for days. That's eating nothing but spaghetti is for a year. Yeah, it was oh, terrible. It was I, terrible. I, I have something that may be even worse. And by worse. the way, wait, by the way, much. And literally, I lived above the mess hall. All I had to do was walk <laughs> downstairs to free food all day and eat it. But I chose to stay in my room, play video games, and eat fucking goldfish exclusively. The there was like... To you. <laughs> I'm a monster. Th- it was, was, it was like... a year after that I started working out and eating more. So that was probably why. When I first got in sixth grade, which, by the way, my sixth grade year, uh, I started off the year, like, the last day of summer, I watched the human history movies for the first time. I believe yes. that was the year, at least. Yes. Uh, it, it, anyway, <laughs> great year to start off. Uh, I, for, like, the entire first half of the year, like, six months, I ate nothing but bags of croutons. Whoa. Weird. Like, I mean, like where'd you no, get them? Where'd you get no, those? So, I, I just went to Bonds. Croutons. I went to Bonds and I just how bought did packets you live of croutons. Of like, just croutons and goldfish in both of your cases. Like how? Yeah, yeah. just carbs, simple yeah, carbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. It's no, all you no need, dude. You. Don't you it's, need yeah, yeah. like protein or something? No, like Digi, yeah, look at me. Look at me, Digi. You think I need <laughs> anything that's not carbs? No, Munchie. Munchie's body consumes its own waste products and recycles it. I exactly like. I start to feel sick if I eat the same dish like twice in a day. Like I feel gross, <laughs> and I need to go eat another thing. Like, you just no. got a you got a delicate no, stomach there, Digi. You yeah. got to hard the fuck uh, well, up when as... the bombs drop, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> when World War Three stops, I'm only gonna have packets of crouton. That's all I'm gonna yeah, be able to survive. I'm only gonna have of. fucking goldfish to survive. Yeah. This is Digi, training. Digi's just been spoiled by all that sweet Patreon money. He can afford to buy something new all the time. <laughs> I, I can't can afford, afford to buy to uh, twice in a day. And, yeah, I'm a relatively yeah. picky eater, but like uh-huh. I I won't. I, I don't know. Like, it's, it has to be, like, a different, like, the other day I, I had a garbage plate for that video I did about garbage plates, and, like, yeah. I ate until I was full, and then later I tried to eat more, and, like, even though it was delicious, my stomach was like, you need another kind of nutrient than this. Like, you can't keep eating this because this will kill right. you, you know? Sure. So go I mean, eat he a has different an acute thing. case of rich person syndrome. His I palate guess so. Well, well maybe, maybe your body is, like, more attuned to what it actually needs or something. I don't know. Like, I had... pe- people, uh, like, it, it's bad that my body, like, doesn't immediately punish me for just eating goldfish for a fucking no. year. I, so, I, do have, you know. I do have a habit where, like, if I, like, take some shitty food, like, I'll eat a ton of shitty food, and I'll, and I'll eat it, and I'll be full and disgusting, and I'll be like, oh, God, that was so bad. Like, yeah. I'm so full of crap. And then I'll be like, oh, I'm so full, I'm gonna die. But then I'll be like, wait. And I'll go and I'll eat an apple afterwards, and, and like, think that it'll make me <laughs> less full, Cleansed. but no. It, it just makes you more full. It I, doesn't actually work to make would, you feel yeah. better. I would say I've never been through a food phase like what, they, what you guys are describing, but, like, mm-hmm. uh, I've been through lots of... Um, like just uh, what's the word what's what's the word for like all the foods you eat like your diet I guess yeah um, I guess yeah so. your diet sure yeah. sure uh, I've been through like diet phases not like doing a diet but like where every yeah, like I'm yeah. eating the same seven or eight things and then it cycles into a different seven or eight things at some point. Um, sure. You know, so like it might, and, and I'll have phases where like I got really into spicy food for a while and was trying to eat like spicy shit all the time just to like spicy boost bro. up my ability to eat spicy foods. Um, or I got like way into onions for a while, but it was never to an extent of like <laughs> just eating onions all the time. It was just like, <laughs> oh, maybe I'll get onions on my burger every time I get a burger, I, you know. I, I did. 
when I was I was in California and I was super poor and living for free in some guys in my friend's side room. I did have a phase of like I would just eat tons of egg sandwiches because eggs are really cheap and bread is really I had cheap. A, I had I would a, just I would just fry eggs and put them on. See, bread I, like I, I had a back. phase. Oh my god! I had a phase of being way into egg salad sandwiches, but I wouldn't say not, not egg it was salad something I was sandwiches. eating all the time. You know, I love egg salad by the way. Like I, I did have a uh, phase where I would make myself an egg salad sandwich probably every other day. You know, for lunch. But it's not like all I was eating, you know. Side note here. How awful is it that we've let anime gone the better of us? And we didn't do a Spicy Bro Pack to Anime Expo named Digi. How fucking abysmal It was, we tried, but we had like What do you mean we tried, dude? I was there too. (laughs) I I said, mate. Oh, you did? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, It's a shame. That needs to be, that, Rycon 3 coming up real soon. Uh, Part two of that question, though, did any of you have a weird thing you like to eat? Like, I don't think any, there's lots of stuff I would describe as like, maybe not, something everyone eats but nothing that's not considered a dish you know yeah. i mean yeah i mean i i kind of eat i i mean so like after okay there's I, you I in the a, cans of beans nate you even there's cans me of the, beans. The, my, my famous patented dark red kidney bean cans which that's I not love considered like a eat. like like it's weird to eat as much of it as you eat but it's not weird to <laughs> eat kidney well, beans well i know? wasn't even going to bring By that themselves, up it, i would say that it is i mean but... i eat them uncooked raw out of the can and uh i, Remember, I do wash them off i wash our them the example goop. was yogurt sandwiches well, so, I don't, I don't what I was going to say like was, yeah. what I was going to say was, like, I feel like this sort of counts. So, like, after I work out, I would normally consume, like, protein, chocolate protein powders, just the kind I like. And then I have, I got the stuff creatine, which is, I don't know, it's famous in fitness stuff. It helps yeah. you grow muscle. Uh, but that's fruit punch flavor. And I used to drink them one after each other. And, like, that was like, oh, my stomach's full of water. What am I going to do? Brilliant plan. I literally combine them and I drink chocolate fruit powder, fruit punch I- uh, oh. mixture and it's really gross but I drink it anyway because it's efficient I, I, I did for a while do a thing Such that a I, th- thing I think do. was actually yeah, good is. and I don't understand why people thought this was weird because I, I think it just makes sense and it is tasty but I would make mm-hmm. my morning coffee and then I would put a scoop of chocolate protein powder in it and, and blend it into like a protein mocha thing dude and I I'd, tried to make a Ben Saint and it got all it, it, I think my protein was too that's, sticky that's, too that's sticky. not a Ben Saint that's a Ben well I won't say my real last name even though I don't care oh, and, everyone, and lots of people yeah yeah that's the Ben oh, okay, my okay. real name <laughs> Which gotcha. I don't know why I'm being weird about it, uh, but now know. I've it's done fun. it and I'm going to stick to the decision. <laughs> I uh, like the, not saying my name online. It's just fun. The, the, it's fun the, the, ben, the Ben Saint is the Ben Saint is, uh, is whole milk, ice, and cherry. It, ben Saint's not dessert. your real That's name. <laughs> juice, I... juice from a cherry from a maraschino cherry jar plus some cherries. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute, that's, that's, that's your Saint. last name? That's my last name. Whoa, oh, are we like related? Weird. God. Impossible. <laughs> Wait, are you two Keg and Phantom Horn from T Map? I never <laughs> knew. You, wait, you're saying that your name, name. It, your real name isn't Guy Saint? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> my real name isn't standard after all. I betrayed you all. Okay. Uh, bizarre. I, I, Did uh, anyone else have an answer to this? Yeah. I want to uh, accuse Tom of having one. Um, Ooh, drama. Just, drama. This, is, right. this isn't there even is. something that's like weird to eat. It's just weird to think about the existence of. Because, Tom, I don't know if you still are, but you were a vegetarian. Are you still a vegetarian? I still am, yes. And okay. you are big into Taco Bell because they will yeah. replace the meat with beans on all Correct. of their stuff. Yeah. Yes, you can. Yeah, okay. Which to me has always been like, why the fuck do you have to go to Taco Bell as a vet, just don't go to Taco Bell. Just eat somewhere else. It makes sense tasty. to me. I, dude, yeah. Because Taco Bell is fucking great. I love fast food. And oh, it's, it's ta- Taco Bell is amazing. Really you eating collab buddy. with uh, Report of the Week, Tom. In a big uh, all way. of us you should be answering. Oh, like, I love oh Report my, of the Week. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Report of the Week. I've, I've never Let's, heard the, of this. Next piece the, of P will be Review Report Bra. of the Week episode. Yeah. H- oh, him God. just, like, sitting there in his car in his, like, in his three-piece suit with his fucking, like, <laughs> fastidiously fastened tie and his little pocket kerchief just looking like a fucking, looking like a some 20-year-old, like, Wall Street wannabe. Just <laughs> no, run, he looks like just a fucking 12-year-old, dude. Yeah, yeah. He's terrified of his mind. Same thing. Same thing when you're ancient as the winds like me um, and just sitting there like like bringing out bringing out a little a little packet of like fucking a uh, uh, burger king like cheetos like cheetos uh, curly fries and just being like mm, and talking at length talking at length about like the merits of these cheetos I've, I've, curly I've fries. actually already done this back in back in my youth I, I had I had a YouTube channel with my friend. We reviewed fast food, and we would record, we would record in the store. We brought the camera yeah. in. What if 
I've what if this friend was this review bra? What if this? <laughs> was review is it possible? Is well, it that, possible? The best thing about Tom's show was that they did it in the restaurant. Like they would sneak yeah, a camera we, in, right, which was right. so much cooler than any of the other ones that do it in like their car, like Dame Drops. The, the couple times that we we did it at home, we would always drink Mountain Dew out of wine glasses. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sick. That's and so. uh, I tried to copy your show, Tom. I tried to yeah. do the uh, yeah, the go right. into a place. Um, well, I had like several ideas for fast food review shows, but one of them, um, me and my brother Shade <laughs> were just like recording a random podcast one time. This never saw the light of day because it was terrible. But um, mm-hmm. I had I was holding the laptop. Um, with my fucking preamp plugged into it, sitting on top of the laptop, and I was holding the microphone, like XLR cord and everything, and just like walking to Taco Bell. Like we walked to Taco Bell and we're recording the podcast while walking on the side of the road. Then we walked in and I had Shade hold the laptop and everything while I ordered. And like everyone's giving us looks like, uh, what in the flying fuck do you think you're doing, you know? Mm -hmm. So we sit down to start eating, uh, just having the microphone going. And the manager comes out and he's like, yeah, you can't record in here. Can you like, and he made me, he made me delete the recording in front of him. But of course, but of course he doesn't know that all you have to do is hit the X on audio track and audacity. And I went, it's, it's done. And then of course, as soon as he left, Uh, I control Z and it was back. So, well, um, but, but it was a totally worthless recording anyways. So (laughs) I'm glad we only, we only got kicked out once and that was at a KFC. Uh huh. But fucking Larry Lee. (laughs) <laughs> All the rest of the time, we just we, we had free reign. We could do whatever we want. Nobody really cared. That's so. amazing. KFC. Uh, yeah. I, and unfortunately, you'll you you've never had another fast food review podcast in your entire life, did yeah. you? And, and, and it's been your entire that was life. The, the only intent. No, I've had a bunch, uh, but there's one that's currently running. Um, <laughs> uh, I say that, but. Uh, there hasn't been an episode in I, it's months, fucking yeah, even though decades. there's even though two of, of them past. have been recorded. <laughs> it's it's the people it's like, cry out. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's unfortunate. Once a month, May looks at me and goes like, "What the fuck is up with the with the fucking stealing your dad's?" I'm like, "I don't know, man. I don't know." <laughs> Munchie's a busy boy. A busy boy. Uh, it, it'll happen. It'll happen. All right. One more yeah, question me- that I want to. The, Wait, the, let me read this meme one. For, okay. This isn't a real question. It's just like uh, at Mark McAuley as, on Twitter asks, "Found out I'm at the same uni Gibbon attended. How cucked am I doing an animation degree?" And then in parentheses says, "I recognized his animation in a show reel." First of all, oh, cool. cool. That's oh, dope, that's dude. Great. And I would like to say that second of all, uh, Gib currently this month is working real hard on like various gigs he's gotten through his like efforts in animation shit. One of which is like a commercial project. He's like animating a whole fucking thing for a dude. So well, I think you're he's, not I think he's writing fucked. It. I think he's writing for it. Well, th- th- there's that that he's working with like a company on, and then there's oh, one the, guy he's just animating for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for you're the, not like totally a, fucked. a documentary or something. Mm-hmm. Like oh. That. Indeed. So, and uh, I want to say that he uh, he he goes into this on his podcast on his on his Patreons only patrons only podcast. So, are you are you a patron of Gib? Uh, I am actually. Shit, I want to hear that shit. Oh, I've yeah, always, yeah. I've been a. Uh, incidentally, like I'm sure he would just link it to you if you asked. I. We'll ask I, I've, I've always been <laughs> waiting for one of my friends to be interested enough in my patron exclusive content to ask me for it, but nobody is. It has never happened. No. <laughs> there's too much. There's too, fu- there's too yeah, fucking that's much really the digi, thing. bro, we're, dude. We're I'm sorry. The there's way too we're much pa- digi, We're past bro. the saturation but the, point. But, it's true. But the, but, the, but the Patreon podcast might be more up you guys' alley than a lot of the main uh, You know, so I, here's, I, I, here's I, the I, thing, to, digi. The, we we have exclusive access to your uh, best friends <laughs> content, which nobody else has. Uh, and you don't have to pay yeah. shit. For oh, that's it, so. that's cute. That's cute. Also, Digi, I, the the snippets you've released of your podcast have been pretty interesting. So I actually yeah. would like to listen to those. There was at least one or two that I specifically wanted to send you, Nate. Um, oh yeah. There's okay. even one cool. where I, I talk about you, and uh, probably for some <gasps> weird, weird utilitarian reason or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, now now for, I'm for interested. For drama reasons. <laughs> uh, anyway, it, 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 that's where he announces that he's yeah. leaving the PCP joint and then the pizza party podcast. <laughs> 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 it was a ruse all along to bait oh out the God. unbelievers. Okay, all right. Anyway, I really do regret question. having brought that to fruition because I know it's going <laughs> to be a thing now. Um, we'll see how it goes. Right, uh, <laughs> this is what I always wanted, dude. This is what I always yeah. wanted for us. <laughs> it's so worth it though, because like if there's one. 
podcast, I'd love for us to I have gotta, like a thing I tell with you, these, these we need fucking a, we need rowdy a fuckers cop killers are a negative <laughs> influence on the PCP. Yeah. <laughs> they obliterated. They no, we, we need this. What, 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 what is, is Spider-Man without Doc Ock? What is Superman yeah. without Lex Luthor? The You're PCP so right. needs You're an enemy. You're so right. Yes. We need our nemesis within, of course, of course, yes. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, Digi, the, let's hit uh, uh, Visuals asks, if there was one piece of content you wish you never made, what would it be? This it's easy, easy, it's easy. Right? Uh, anal- <laughs> analysis it anarchy. Analysis yeah. anarchy. I want to kill myself every time I also, think about it. Also, to remind everyone, I li- I read the script and turned that down. I am literally a thousand times smarter than Ben, superior in every way. I, I, I know things. Really there you go. fucked there you up, go. and it makes me <laughs> mad. <laughs> I don't know. I, Everything I've done is fucking flawless. I, I'll think. Go on, dude. I think I, I, on some level, I don't know if I would have regretted this at the time, but by this point... I can't remember anything good having come from my most boring taste in anime video. Like, I feel Uh, like the point was mostly missed, and that even the people who did get the point, it didn't, like, do anything to have gotten the point, you know? And all it did was um, ruin 3x3 threads on 4chan forever, which is actually great. (laughs) I'm actually very happy with that result. But it also meant that I am forever (laughs) inundated with people's 3x3s, and I don't care and have never (laughs) cared. And, uh, yeah, so, like, that... That's probably the video that had the worst consequences in it, like the, the worst cost benefit, yeah, okay. you know, like it had sure, more sure, sure. cost than benefit to have made. I don't know why it became such a big deal in the first place because it was I shouldn't have given it a thumbnail like I, I give my videos <laughs> thumbnails when I think they can become big. And in that uh-huh. case, I was like, oh, this has a chance to be a big video, but I should have realized that I didn't want it to be a big video. And I fucked up by letting it become one. So uh, I I have one I have mm-hmm. one uh, even even though I'm happy with it now and I don't think it's bad I do in hindsight I do wish that I didn't do Nuzlocke Conquest because it ended up being way more uh, sure, work sure. than it was actually worth mm-hmm. uh, but you know like I, yeah I, 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 wish, I, kind, I kind of wish I had stopped Nuzlocke Conquest should have just been like made six months later after yeah. the champion was done. And then yeah, it would have made uh, perhaps. Yeah. It, it, it really I mean, should have, and it was foolish of me to 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 want to jump right into it just to coincide with like the release of, of Sun and Moon because yeah. like it's a long form series that came out over months. It's not like it was one big explosive thing that was like, oh, everyone who's hyped about Sun and Moon is going to want to watch this, you know? Right, right. I mean, it was a bit of, ill conceived in terms of marketing, and again, cost to benefit or whatever cost to benefit ratio stuff. Like, yeah, it didn't succeed. Even but, though like, it's it, cool and people like it, like it, it really did not do much of anything for me. I am canonically the biggest Nuzlocke Conquest fan and I absolutely loved it uh, sure. but that's, that's, well, that's, that's yeah. just me I mean, I, I, but I that like doesn't it. help you I, that doesn't yeah. help you yeah no not at all uh, I, I don't know I guess I'll just use my old answer of uh, like I worked way too long I like all my old videos I worked way too long on and I, the one that you know the Lucifer and the Biscuit Amber one is like over edited to the point of being almost like indecipherable to some extent and, and the Undertale one is kind of like the two but that has positives as well I nothing I've made is like terrible uh, but I guess I would just say like the Lucifer because I work too hard on it. But I am happy with what mm. with what it is now. So yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. That, that's all I got. Tom, you got any videos you regret making? Um, I probably should have done the leaving the fandom one better because it cost me literally all my money. But at the same, <laughs> but but at the same time, it like set me on but the path to making. But was that black money? That was illicit money anyway. That's, that's my whole point. On... It's like it, yeah, it set me yeah. on the path to doing things that actually matter. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. like I set out to make it because I wanted to do a hard like get out so i couldn't go back because i knew i would just crawl back if i didn't you succeeded there i'm I'm glad that happened but at the same time i'm perpetually broke forever now and i'll probably never (laughs) make money again so uh unless i start some drama so that that's kind of why yeah i start some drama i'm really poor (laughs) could probably make some money with some drama that's what we're all counting on Give me world. money, guys. Don't we, make me the start only shit. Way that it's gonna I'm work not good is at if we it. We are very careful to make ourselves not the bad guys in that <sighs> drama, which is going to be difficult, you know? you know. But we can manage. We can do it, though. I'm yeah. confident. We have the we have the skills. Yeah. The video <laughs> I most regret in my entire life is not uh-huh. on any YouTube channel that I currently have access to. I've completely forgot the password for. But I okay. believe sometime around second or third grade, I made a YouTube video where I accidentally Whoa. flipped off my grandmother, and I got really <laughs> sad. And I, didn't, I, I apologize profusely. <laughs> About it. <laughs> you accidentally flipped her up. Yeah, I, I, I was trying to give her a thumbs up, but my like my brain <laughs> forgot how to make the thumbs up motion. I flipped her off instead. Oh, well, Jesus. the old bitch probably deserved it. <laughs> yeah, she did. <laughs> if I'm honest with myself. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, I guess that's all our questions. Yeah. Uh, that's it, everybody. Uh, thanks for okay. sending those so. using hashtag AskPCP, and we're mm-hmm. at TP or, on Twitter. Or also, by, also by hashtag putting money into our fucking pockets, you absolute pig at the... Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> Most of the questions we read are from the Patreon so that yes. we can encourage you to become a patron, so... Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy. Uh, yeah. So do that shit up. Become a patron at patreon.com slash the procrastinators and you get fucking that shit happens. And of course, the five dollar pledge, you get access immediately to all the bonus episodes. Uh, we are up to eight now. And the last one was alcohol. I'm on it. And it was a I was it, on it. Digi's on it. Yeah, it's and not I a got baby. drunk, and Davu got shit-faced, and it was great. It was pretty yeah. fucking fun. Yeah. <laughs> if you want documentation. Also, we are, we are also on iTunes and Google Play, so if you want to listen to these on your phone without having to keep a tab open or whatever, Damn you can right. do that. Uh, Google Play Music and iTunes. Just search for The Procrastinators, the same way it's spelled on this video, and they'll mm-hmm. come right up. Along with other podcasts we intend to murder, probably by starting drama with it some point. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I can't fucking wait for this. <laughs> and anything else? Uh, merch, red bubble shit in the links below, whatever. Uh, yeah, that's it, everybody. Like, and- comment, and subscribe. Oh, and, uh- <laughs> oh man, someone finally yeah, tweeted a picture yeah. of themselves wearing the sick PCP shirts that I designed, and I'm so proud of myself. It looks so great. Did you yeah, guys see that? It was I the orange that. one. It looked incredible on a shirt. <laughs> it, looked it looked incredible. Good. It looks pretty good. Yeah, it's hard I, to believe. I was, ve- I was like, I was so glad to see that good work um, incredible uh, i think that's all we have to say <laughs> on the subject of yep. our favorite subject in the entire world ourselves <laughs> Bye. 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 yeah 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 uh. i'm supposed to be working right now i'm supposed to